Hi there. Is this the women and children's first place? No, women and women first. Oh, women and women's first. Hi, my name is Rick, and I'm working for the Killingsworth Neighborhood News. Just want to ask you a couple questions about the store, if you have time. An interview? Wow. Sure. We've been waiting for this. <laughs> yeah, this will be real brief. OK, um, you should probably take a seat. OK, so what are your hours for the store? And do you have um, men and women bathrooms, or are they a joint deal? What kind of an article is this going to be? An expose? Is it going to be in depth? Is it going to be skewed? Is this a feature? Is it a cover story? It's just a little blurb about your store in the neighborhood. Well, OK. Mm -hmm. The year was 1991. New York City. I was working as senior VP of Crown Books Corporate. Good morning, everyone. I'm back. What is that? Looks like coffee. I drink Sanka. Dustin. Yeah? Get a memo out, please, sure. as much as fast as you can. Hi, who are you? I'm new. Sit down. I don't know what that is or who you are. It's a skirt. I've been gone two weeks maternity leave. I was a real go-getter. I had sparks in my eyes and lava flowing through my veins. Oh, much, much better. I was about to spit this out into your eye. Meanwhile, in Midtown, I was head of new business and acquisitions for B. Dalton Corporate, making sure there was a B. Dalton in every mall in America. Rich! <clears throat> Guys, uh, I didn't close the deal. Uh. Not! <laughs> cha ching Choo-choo-choo-choo-choo-choo. <laughs> oh. Come on in here. Let me get some of that. RB, you know who didn't close the deal? Your mom. Oh, God. Well, listen, what's the 411? How did it go down? Well, you know, I mean, every time they didn't give me what I wanted, I was just like, I'm Audi. Audi, Audi, Quattro. All right. And I just kept saying, talk to the hands. And... I guess I'm all that in a bag of chips. Good girl. I'm glad everyone appreciates my efforts and, you know, my intellect. Tony. Tony, Tony, Tony! Well, in 1992, everything changed. B. Dalton Bookseller acquired the Crown Book Corporation to form the largest chain of bookstores in the country. At the top, Bruce Nathanson. What is that coat? Is it in the bathroom? He was a kind of wolf in wolf's clothing. Tall, blonde, handsome, he was relentless. Goodbye, Crown and B. Dalton. Hello, Carlton. Wow, this place is nice. Can't wait to make mincemeat out of these bozos. The boss would like to see you now. Of course he does. Oh, I'm sorry. I had a meeting with Bruce. Are you on your way out? I'm also here for a meeting with Bruce. Oh, well, hello. I'm Candace Devereaux. Tony Rose, B. Dalton. B. Dalton. Well, look at you. Have you met Bruce before? No, but I'm about to knock his socks off. Well, I see you two are getting cozy. Hi, Bruce Nathanson. Candace Devereaux. Candy, what a pleasure. Please have a seat. Tony, Tony, Tony. Please have a seat. Oh, I'm so excited to have the two of you working for me all under one big corporate roof. <sighs> Chick lit. Chick lit. What? What is that? What? Um, books for women, written by women. Whatever it is, we've got to have it. We need it. And you two, being by far the most qualified chicks in the corporation, I thought perhaps, I don't know, one of you would like to uh, run it. I can, I can do, do it. Well, you know, that's what I thought, but I can, I can only hire one of you. So my plan was to pit you two against each other. Some good old fashioned office competition. Uh, I'm certainly more qualified to do this position. I disagree. I'm actually the more qualified one here. You know, one of you will get the position, stock options, jazzy suits, the Acura, um, and the other won't. Um, Bruce, may I have a moment with you alone, please? Tony. I'm not leaving. Well, it appears we've reached an impasse. Tony was inexperienced. Candace's recollection is murky at best. I myself was a bit of a whiz kid. Tony the Pony, they called me. And I was a whiz woman. When I went to the bathroom, it was loud. I was called Candace, that woman who looks like a horse, who pees like a horse. Well, anyway, we just got a table at Tutu's and just sat there and really got to know each other. Did you watch Murphy Brown last night? Really good episode, wasn't it? I thought so, too. Definitely important and well done and well played. I think she's brilliant. 
That's great. So, Tony, how does a mousy girl like you end up in the big, bad city? Well, I uh, grew up in Philadelphia. Yeah, daughter of a doctor and a professor. Went to Harvard, went to MIT. I got asked to go to MIT. They begged me to come. Please, please, we want your brains, we want your beauty. You can really do it here for us at MIT, but I don't know. Guys are kind of ugly. Yeah, I, I didn't go to graduate school for the men. And what kind of men do you date? Men who don't have a whole lot going on? Maybe friends of friends who are doing other friends a favor? No, I... I mean, you could tell me. I'm not gonna tell you anything, Candace. It was like a game of chess. All strategy and sussing each other out. But it was checkers, too, in its own way. In the positioning of the queen. Which is chess, which was my um, or original analogy. We're getting close to about 50 words now. So, I did my usual Candace thing of finding out what made Tony tick, because I was a shark. <laughs> Let me give you some advice. I've slept around. Every single company I've worked at, I slept my way to the top, to the bottom, to the left, to the right. I mean, directions you couldn't even imagine. But it got me here. Do you even want a desk in the new office, or shall we just put a bed in there for you? Don't kid yourself, honey. Nothing will get in my way. Nothing. That's a penis going inside me. I'm getting a read on you, Candace. Someone whose uh, legs are open 24-7. Sometimes they're closed, but I'm bent over from behind. Well, you've gotten where we are in two different ways. And I don't judge your methods, but I do not abide by them. I might seem benign, mild, and even soft-spoken, but you shouldn't cross me. You will never, never get this job over me. Watch your back, Candace. Well. Let the games begin. Chiclet should be an oasis. You're in that bookstore. There's Tom Clancy. Oh. There's Dean Koops. Oh. Everything changes when you get to the Chiclet section. It's pink. It's red. It's cozy. Chick lit. I want these books shoved in people's faces. I want these pages crumpled up and put down people's throats. Rhonda, we make a reservation for seven people at eight o'clock at Tutu's for dinner. Seven at Tutu's, Thank yeah. You. Rhonda, can I get a reservation at Tutu's tonight? Tutu's, yeah. 8 p.m., seven people. Seven people, 8 p.m. Rhonda, do me a favor, cancel that reservation. It's two tables of two. Two tables of two for Tutu's. Rhonda, can I get a reservation for 22 Where people at Tutu's tonight? 22 people. Yeah. Rhonda, right, but write this out on magic marker. Say, Tony is mentally ill. No, I'm sorry, I can't do that. I, I have think a, you can. No, I, I have a lot of mental illness in my family. I have a lot of schizophrenia. I I'm not asking you your family history. I'm sorry for yelling. How's Weight Watchers going? Were you crying? Rhonda, will you send Candace a bale of hay? Rhonda, will you take Tony's glasses and get a magic marker and just blacken them out and put them back on her face again and step on them while they're on her face? We need, need to find a female Gen X author. Okay, I'm on a call. Do you hear that? Oh, on the phone, I thought that was just a mole growing on her face. Rhonda, did you have the latest New York Times? Rhonda, throw away the newest New York Times. Is Rick back from Hawaii? Rhonda, I'm talking to you. Rhonda, what button do I push? Rhonda, when's the soccer game tonight? Find out. Rhonda, can I get some Crystal Pepsi in my mini fridge? Rhonda, did you find out yet? When's the soccer game? Rhonda, Rhonda, Rhonda. 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 Between the two of you, it's like a, it's like a tennis match at Forest Hills. This is going to be Tony's chiclet department. I feel sorry for her. I really do. It must be hard being a nothing. Did you write that down? <laughs> Uh, you guys open on Sundays. Are you even listening to our story? Yes. Well, listen to this. We have a story to tell, so listen. Okay. And write it down. Okay. Thank you. The competition was on. That bouncer's really nice, isn't he? Oh, look. That's that Tony girl. Oh, there's Candace. Hi, we see you. You're making a fool of yourself. Pathetic, isn't she? She's probably on her fifth drink already. Isn't that the worst? What'd you call her over? She's she gonna fall down on the floor? Yeah, I bet she'll fall right down. Candace! Me? Like this.
love you! Candace. Let me guess. Candace, I'm in love with you. I've heard it my whole life. Elementary school, high school, college, the working world. You're so beautiful. I love your profile. Oh, let me drink you in. I want to hear the sound of your voice. I wrote this poem about you. I wrote this song about you. But now it's your turn, Bruce. What are you going to do for me? The job is yours. Everything is yours. Just take me. <laughs> Buckle up and get ready for the ride of your life. I've got two airbags with your names on them. these broads run around and fight each other. I mean, I've got myself a front row seat to a cat fight. Meow! Meow! <laughs> and the crazy thing is, is that these broads, I mean, they actually believe that they're going to get this position. I mean, it's so sad. Really, of course, I'm going to give it to a man. That's why I called you guys here. Listen, I need suggestions. I need testosterone. I need semen. You know, I need balls. I need someone who's decision-making is not influenced by the cycles of the moon. My plan is to bring in a fellow or two from the outside. I want some twigs and berries. So, names, suggestions, anyone. Handyman, plumbers, ex-cons. I don't care as long as it's not women. Hello? Tony, it's Candace. Will you please let me in? And Tony, that's the reason that neither of us are getting that position, ever. I just feel like such a fool. Oh, Candace, honey. You know what they said, Tony? That this job is too important to give to a woman. Honey, it's okay. <laughs> it's not okay. I just wanted so bad to make something of myself, and I was good and <laughs> Who am I kidding? I mean, the head of Chick Lit. The only thing I could be the head of is a, a Candace body. <laughs> oh, Candace. I know my legs are weird, and I've got a horse face, and. No, you don't. I do. You don't. Bruce. He's, he's so cruel. It was so weird. He, like, brought me over to his house, and well, we drank a little bit, and he, like, turned on his disc man, and he goes, do you like Motown? Do you like Motown? And then he said the disc man didn't work, so he had to go downstairs to get some kind of another plug. And he popped his head in, and he goes, hey, I hope you like Motown. And I'm like, what are you doing? Why are you saying this to me over and over again? And then I was like, get up here. And I got on top of him, and I just, like, rode him. I mean, I grinded so hard. I mean, I thought the bed was gonna break. He was using me, and I was supposed to be using him. We're all being used. I keep thinking that having men around me would just make me more powerful, but, but I hate men now. That's when everything changed. We swore from that point on that we would never throw another woman under the bus to get ahead. We were no longer adversaries. We were sisters. I'm not gonna let Bruce or some other man run the chiclet department. Chiclet, it shouldn't be some term that diminishes what it means for women to be part of literature. It's just saying like, look, here's your tiny little category. We've been given a morsel. We've been given a crumb. No, we want a buffet. Yeah. We want a goddamn buffet. That's right. That we could dig our fists into and feed our faces with. I'm angry and you're angry and I love it. We are women. Now it's time for us to change and take over. Yes. I have a plan. I have a plan. All right, everybody, all right, everybody, settle down. Listen, I'm not gonna waste your time with a lot of mumbo jumbo. The truth is, the search is over. I have found the stars to head the chick lit department. I mean, I know we wanted to promote from within, but these two, they came into the interview and they slapped me in my face with their balls, basically, <laughs> that's what happened. So here they come. Kirk, Jeremy, get in here! Yeah! <laughs> So, let me get this straight. You two dressed up as men. It was Tony's idea. Just a couple of wigs and some mustaches, some suits, and worked like a charm. You know how mad I am right now as a guy? I don't take nothing from no one. I'm the toughest guy around. I'm like a sheriff. All right, I love these guys. I love these guys. I think we're going to bring the, the manpower that uh, the chiclet department needs. Give it some balls. Give it some big old balls. Yeah. Oh! All right, listen, we got a chick lit department to start here. Everybody get back to work. Let's go, let's go. 
Good job, Candace. Tony, we did it. Sure, Jeremy. You're in there making Dude, out. You better he, cut he, it out. Hey! Listen, this weekend, a soiree, a celebration. My boat, my bitches, my coke, your noses. Great, sounds good. Yeah, the cocaine. How? Rain in the main vein. Yeah. Wow. You see how that looked at. All right. See you on the yacht. How'd you do that? I'd be standing up all the time anyway. It's like a racehorse. <laughs> <laughs> Did you see the badge on that one? Yeah, let's talk about the high seas, right? Fresh. Nice angle. You know who has a, a crazy old badge? I'm talking like a heavy dangler, Candace. I couldn't get her off my dong. Pounding and pounding and pounding and pounding. <laughs> Wasn't it mutual? Didn't it seem like maybe you both uh, got into it together? What are you talking about again? Candace. You and Candace? Wasn't there any oh, sense I of like... I her all kinds of nonsense. She just ate it all up. I'm not a dummy. I know how to get a broad like that, like a dumb dog. Dumb? Dumb? Your girl probably went to Tufts. No, she's probably pretty brilliant and no. beautiful, it sounds like to me. For a horse. Easy with that. I don't understand what's the problem. Uh, I, I gotta excuse me, please, for a, a, a while. Okay. What's Kirk's problem? The beast was awakened. When you say beast, you mean us. Candace, what are you doing? I can't take it anymore. Did you hear what they said about me? The things they say about women just it makes me so mad. It's just terrible. They're so sexist. They hate women. I can't continue this charade anymore. I don't want you to either. OK. Do you have a match? Well, I'm not saying you need plastic surgery. I'm just saying if you wanted it, I would pay for it. Whoa, 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 what is this? Fire! Fire! <laughs> Abandon ship, everybody, the lifeboats! Let's go, man, to the lifeboat! Ah, Kirk! Jeremy, thank God you're safe! Permission to come aboard! I don't think so. We overheard you say that no woman would ever get that chick lit job. Well, guess what? Two women did. Tony? Candace? What happened to Kirk and Jeremy? It's us. We had disguises and put on a fake mustache and a fake wig. Let's just let bygones be bygones again. Candace, baby, I, I love you, remember? You love me? You know who you're in love with? Yourself. And by the way, I was faking it. I didn't even feel you. We're leaving. You're not coming with us. I know that it's generally women and children first, but I'm just a little baby. I'm just a tiny little baby. Let me on board. Not this time, Bruce. This time, it's women and women first. Come on, ladies. And babies. And tiny babies. I hope you get scurvy, all of you. What? Wait for me. I'm coming. Sorry, sir. Women only. I am a woman. My name is Angel. Oh. Oh, well, I could see that. OK. Oh, kind of like an Annie Lennox Eurythmics thing? Come on, boy. Hold on, that's all the proof you require? A hat removal? We did it. Nice work, ladies. <laughs> Let us on the boat, you bitches! Bitches? Why don't you burn in hell, Bruce? We will track you down and find you! Yeah! Sink your little dinghy! Let's go! Good job, Candace. Good job, Tony. I mean, where are we gonna go? We've gotta get out of here. I know a place to hide. It's a bookstore. Hardly anyone goes there. Yeah, I do it. Sounds good to me. And that's how we ended up here. So, what about Bruce? Did he ever track you down? No, Bruce never found us. Customers can barely find us. I mean, we've been hanging out in the nonprofit world ever since. Okay. Well, just... I mean, Angel was right. She said no one would find us here. Smile. Well, no. She's not the first person who said that. Wow. We're cover girls. Well, look at that. Well, that gentleman did a good job. I'm really proud of us. What a great writer. And if you squint in your eyes, I look like Isabella Rossellini. You look great, too. Well, that's the day. I'm gonna close out. Okay, yeah, we've been here an hour. Can I get a ride home? Yeah, of course. You know I drive fast.
archive life's special moments. Weddings. Birthdays. Proposal videos. We do everything. We are Creative Jungle Digital Playground. Welcome to the Jungle. Shh. Rolling. Slate. Common Mark. We got state of the art prosumer equipment. A lot of times you watch a video of something and there's like this happening. That's because the body shakes. You want to counterbalance that. So as you're going, you take all the shaking for the camera. Camera. What do you think of Thunderbolt now that Firewire is obsolete? I mean, the bit rate's through the roof. <laughs> We'll show up wherever you want. But you're not even gonna notice us. You're gonna be having your event and we're gonna be like. Afterwards, people are gonna be like, I thought I saw a couple of people. I'm like, oh yeah, they videotaped everything. everything. That's all they did? No, they edited it and added music, like cinema score. <laughs> Creative Jungle Digital Playground. Prosumer event capturing at a cost. So check us out. We'll make you happy. Yeah, what brings you in here today? Well, um, we've been dating for like three or four years, and I'm in my prime. I'm very beautiful now, and I think I'm looking really good. And like, I'm thinking it would be nice to take it to the next step and like, you know, maybe think about getting married. Every time I bring it up, Lance just doesn't even want to talk about it. Well, Lance, what is it about marriage that makes you feel uncomfortable? Marriage is for pussies. There's, like, jewelry involved. I don't care about rings and stuff like that. It's like, we're committed. I don't understand why there needs to be something official, ordained by some random third person. See? And, Nina, you know, what, what is it that, that you want from this? I just don't want him to be so stressed out all the time, and he seems like he wants to fight, and, like, whenever I bring it up, he, like, doesn't want to confront it. And, like, I think something's, like bothering him or something. Okay. Um, this weekend, my mom's coming to visit, and she's bringing some guy that she's dating. Ah, now we're getting somewhere. That's the elephant in the room. Is that a problem with you about your mom having a boyfriend? Well, it's just like, she always has boyfriends. It's just, I don't want, I'm tired of meeting like random dudes that just like come in and out of her life. Well, how many times has your mom been married? She's been married five times. That's significant. It is significant. It's too many. So and this is what's got you up upset about the marriage thing with you and, and Nina. I don't know. Why are you overanalyzing it? He's an analyst. That's what it, that's his job. That's what he's getting paid for. What do you say, Nina? I think this is really good. And I think it's really good that Lance is talking and expressing his feelings. And I think it's good for Lance to realize that, you know, like, I'm not your mother. I know. I'm not your mother. I know. I'm Nina. That's our time, guys. I'm gonna wish you guys good luck and hope everything works out for you. So when are they coming down? I just texted her, they're supposed to be down. You know what would be cool? Like, wouldn't it be great if she was, like, dating, like, a Hawaiian guy? Why? I don't know, they've got so many cool things in their culture, like pineapples and poi and lei. I promise you, this guy is from San Diego, he's from Fresno, or he's from Phoenix. Hmm. That's where old people live. Trust me, it's just not a big deal. Just hang out with him for a couple days and we'll never see him again. Oh, there they are. Oh, hi. Come on. Hi, sweetheart. I'm so happy to see you. It's been too long and look at you. Oh, my gosh. Oh, you're gorgeous. You're gorgeous. Honey, this is Justin. What's up, Justin? I'm Lance. What are there? From Grip. Yeah, you too, Kimosabi. You work out your forearm? Yeah. You got a hell of a mom here. You don't have to tell me that. Well, just in case you forget. Oh, I'm never gonna forget, so you don't forget. All right. Whoa. Welcome to Portland, Justin. Hey, how'd you guys meet? She was waiting tables at this diner, and I came in, ordered some pancakes, and <laughs> just one thing led to another, you know? <laughs> and now he's looking after my car? I sure am. Mom, I can take care of your car. Oh, I know, honey, but you're busy. I don't want to bother you. Besides, Lance, this is a 96 Corvette we're talking about. It doesn't exactly take care of itself. <laughs> yeah, I know what it is. I bought it for her. Oh, really? So you like teal? <laughs> no. Mom, I told you, you should have got black. Well, that wouldn't have really matched her eyes, now, would it have? Why don't you stop talking about my mom's eyes? What? Well, you want me to talk about her other assets? This is Shutterbug. I like to shut your mug. <gasps> what you call me? Sit down. What's going on with you? In a public Chinese garden. Jeez, he's just being so possessive of my mom. So what? Let him have their fun. Look at them. It's just grossing me out. What's gross?
was so happy. It's nice. I really like it. Look, he's paying attention oh, to her. That's nice. Just let her have her life. Okay, you can't like marry your mother. I know, gross. Right, but there's other people you can marry. You know what I'm talking about? Yes. Do you understand me? Yes. Look at me. I am looking at you. No, harder. I'm looking at you so hard right now. Okay, well, that's what I want. Okay. I'll be right back. It's a cheeseburger. This is Lance. We gotta talk about something. What? That lady over there isn't just my lover. She's also my muse. I wouldn't be able to do this without her. So I gotta ask you something really important. Lance, I need your permission to ask her to marry me, all right? I'm not gonna do it without getting your permission. I need it. Hopefully one day I'll be able to put that in my family photo album, all right? Don't think of me like a stepdad. Think of me more like a biological dad. This is bullshit. Of course, big surprise. Justin wants to marry my mom. Well, guess what? I'm not giving my permission. This sucks. It's just like I'm being replaced. I do everything for my mom. Her car, her house, and this little shutterbug is just gonna come in and he's just gonna be like, oh, now I'm gonna do this. You know what? He's not. I'm done with it. I'm not giving permission. I'm not gonna make myself into some little best friend for some new dad that like comes in and it's just like, come here, Lance, I'm gonna be your new dad. And then it's just leaving all over again. Ah, now we get into the core of the apple. I'm sensing some anger, Lance. Yeah, no shit, Cosby Mysteries. I am angry. I mean, this is just a shitty, shitty situation. So shitty, shitty. Well, you know, it might be that you have this shitty attitude. And that's what's bringing on the shit. No, I'm just reiterating how shitty it is. Now we're just sitting here in a big pile of shit that Justin took that we're all just wallowing in. But what we're gonna have to do, we're gonna have to find a hose and wash up all this shit and get started brand new. Well, he's got some hose, by the way. That's interesting. Well, maybe, like, you could take some time and maybe get to know him a little bit, you know, just hang out with him. Ah, that's a great idea. I love that. I mean, you could go hang out with him and, like, I could just go hang out with your mom or something, take her shopping. I guess you could go to a carnival. Aha, uh -huh. carnival. I'll hang out with him, but I'm not making any guarantee. Well, I'm not asking you to make a promise because I'm not the one that has to deal with this for the rest of my life. That's going to be the end of this session. Okay, Lance, wait. Oh, damn it. <laughs> Tell me how it's going with Justin. I've never felt happier in my life. I feel like a teenager. <laughs> you deserve it. You deserve to be happy because you're a good person. Oh, well, how are things with Lance? And no disrespect to your son, but like he needs to do something like major. Because I like the idea of like being like a wife. Honey, yeah. he's scared to really open up. What's he scared of? What am I gonna do? It's like it's like I'm scared of what? What am I like? A monster, like a ghost monster on Halloween. Like I'm gonna pop out of like a pumpkin or something like that. Like I'm not like, I'm me. Like I'm not gonna do anything. Pretty good. I think they're perfect. Have you ever been proposed to? Oh yeah. You have? Five times. I can't believe it. That's yeah. never happened to me at all. No one's ever proposed to you? No, you, oh. of course not. Well, if I was a guy, I definitely would propose to you. You seem like a real catch. You would? Mm-hmm. What would you do, like, if you were to propose to me? That's a creative thing you would do. I don't know. If I was ever to propose to somebody, it'd probably be, like, skywriting. And That'd I was, be so cool. I think so, too. Wouldn't you love that as a woman? Could you imagine? It could happen. It really a can. dream. Mm hmm Will you marry me, Nina?
Ah, now we got another elephant in the room. What? It's your mustache. What about it? Where is it? I shaved it. You just shaved it? Yeah, with Justin. We're bonding. Oh, it's so weird. I can't even look at you. What do you mean? I can't even tell. Are you looking at me? Yeah. This mustache thing seems like it's really hanging you up. Yeah. Would you think Lance would look better with the mustache again, like the way mine is? If Lance had his mustache back, I mean, it'd be easier to talk to him, for sure. Here you go. Now, does that make you feel better? That's better. I appreciate it. Thanks for doing that. OK, now, where were we? Like, everybody everywhere is just being proposed to. And like, what am I? Just like some prop? Some like mannequin just like standing around? OK, fine. You know what? Nina, will you marry me? That's not what I mean. Don't be an idiot. That's the meanest thing. That's not a proposal. You got to do something with like some imagination. You got to like do it something on live TV or like flowers and balloons. and. There's so many things you could do. What she's trying to say, she needs a little romance. A little? I need, like, some real gestures here. You're not talking about romance. You're talking about spectacle. Lance, I'm the love of your life. You have to put some thought into it. Yeah, I have put thought into it, and it'll never be good enough. I just proposed. Nothing I do will ever be satisfying to you. I'm out of here. That was your proposal? That was a real proposal? Well, that's the end of the session. Time's up. But wait, we got, we got another 20 minutes. I'm sorry. Thank you so much for meeting with me. Um, I've been dating this girl for a couple months now. Finally got permission from her son to pop the question. So I was just gonna like propose to her, really simple, but um, my friends all kind of made fun of me. And they're like, no, 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 you gotta go see these guys. And, those are good friends you have. Yeah. They gave you the right advice. You've come to the right place. I mean, what we do is uh, wedding proposal videos. We've got lots of equipment, lots of GoPros. We'll put them everywhere. We're GoPro crazy. We're big into horror movies, right? And so I was just gonna like jump out of the bush and like take off the mask and be like, you marry me. It's a little short. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> so you like horror movies. I mean, you could do a sort of Frankenstein thing. What if you show up in the living room and you've got these bolts? You're like, <laughs> unscrew it and like, look in here. She's like, what? What's in there? It's a little note. Pull out the note. Go down to the dungeon. We'll have GoPros all over the place. And it's all your relatives dressed up as Dracula. You know, they're all a little overweight. Some of them are like not good at acting, looking at the camera. They all say a word like, he wants you to know that you are you. Dead. Oh. And we should sometime soon get mad. Please. please. You see, these are ideas that I would never have, so thank you very much. This is really cool. Oh, you know what we could do? We love, like, police shows, like, cop shows, stuff like that. What kind of shows do you mean? You know, like, Dateline or, like, those shows about the cops where, like, somebody goes missing. We set up an Amber Alert. You guys get a notification on your phone. This is great. You guys are the lucky ones that actually identify the car. You're in the drama. Boom, that's the car. Wait, hold on, the license plate. Honey, I gotta get on this. This is gonna be the best proposal and best proposal video ever. I'm in, let's do this. Great. Well, thank you, uh, let me know what I gotta do for my end. And Don't worry, just yeah. I'm into we'll, it. we'll text you. and family. Welcome to the big day. I'm gonna go wake her up now. Psst. Psst. Oh. <laughs> hey, good morning. How do you feel about the possibilities of today? What are you up to? Nothing, just waking up with my angel. Here I am. <laughs> Say again? What are you doing? Just, come on. What is that? <laughs> <laughs> How do I know the groom? How do I know the bride? The bride's my mom. That's a dumb question. The groom I just met, it's like a new guy in my mom's life. Is there a problem? Yeah, I didn't get that quite. Will you say something again? Hey, I gotta be somewhere. Memory card, okay, the memory card's Can we just film this, please? Okay, how would you describe your mom? She's my favorite. I mean, she's always been there for me, and I've I'm always- I'm sorry, this is on pause. Hey, asshole! Come on, I don't have all day here. Ah, there we go. Do you have someone who you love? You got? You have a girlfriend? I have a girlfriend, yeah. Uh-huh. What's her name? Nina. And how, how long have you been going out? Uh, like uh, eight years. 
What's the best way to show someone that you love them? Because this is a constant thing. You've always got to do upkeep and, you know, show your girlfriend you love her. Do you think you do that enough? Lance, you think you do that? You think you do that, buddy? Justin does it. That's enough. Just leave me alone, okay? Pillar's about to fall down. There should be PF trains near the train station. Oh, yeah? Whoa. Blowing up. Amber Alert? Oh, I got one, too. 1939 Black Chevrolet license, uh, 2 GYT 342. I, I got that, too. Oh, my God. Wait. Look at that. What? Oh, what should we do? All those crime shows that we love? Yeah. Why don't we solve this one? Because that's dumb. No, no, no. no. no that's dumb. No, it'd be so fun. It's right no. there. No, I'm going to call the police. Hey. Hi, hi. Honey, we got to go it alone on this hey. one. Hey, police? Yeah, you know that well, can black Can I talk show? to them? Uh-oh. What? Oh, so one second. Wait, that guy just stole my phone. He must be with Capone's gang. Let's go grab him. Baby, we can solve this one on our own, see? The oh. two of us with our own love. OK. Come here. <laughs> Let's do this. You got to jump in that motor car and peel away. You see? I got it. You did? Yeah. Looks hey, great. Hey. All right, let's go. Here we go. Ow, man, look at all of this. Yeah, Justin really went all out. Look at Hi. Look at all these details. I mean, like, the whole warehouse? It's a lot of effort. You know, it's iced tea and... Look, I mean, look at the cupcakes and everything and all the cookies and, like, the flowers. And... Well, you know, my mom's a special lady and... I don't know, I think Justin's, like, doing a good job. Yeah, must be nice, huh? Yeah, I mean, it must be nice for you to be, you know, going out with the guy whose mom's getting engaged in this really cool way. Hi, Mike. It's just, it's not about us tonight. I know, I know it's not about us, but I still want, like, the chance to be able to, like, appreciate it without having, like, this thing looming over me where I just... What looming over you? The idea of coming... The idea of commitment and like doing these gestures. I mean, look at this. Justin's just a guy and he's like, showing his appreciation. Well, I'm just a guy. I mean, I just need to go take a walk, all right? There he is. See? Get him. Look at him. Yes, looking at you, kid. Come back here, kidnapper. You filthy crook! Stay back, you! She got planned. Yes. <laughs> You're the apple of his eye. Justin is a lucky guy. He's so in love with you that he wrote the lyrics for the song I'm singing to you. Gretchen! <laughs> he planned the whole thing! You planned this? Uh with a little help from some friends. <laughs> Our chase was all fake. I mean, we were really going that fast, like dangerously fast. And... What inspired you? You did. You always do. And uh, I hope you always will. <gasps> Gretchen, Eunice, Oliver, will you do me the honor of becoming my wife? Happened. Oh no! No, they weren't supposed to be real cops! Oh no, I called them. I called them. Why'd you do that? Why'd you do that? Wait a minute. Oh my god, what was that? Freeze. Guys, I know from the shop. Tony, Rick, Chad, all of it. For me? You said it was important to you. We talked about it in therapy. I talked about it with Justin. And the thing I realized, Nina, 
it's also important to me. Oh, Lance, yes. I'm a Beyonce! I'm a Beyonce! <laughs> Congratulations. <gasps> Congratulations to you. It's a really good proposal, son. Was anyone taking any video of this? We were. Whole time. It's going. It's gonna go viral. I thought she was gonna have a heart attack. I am a fiance. <laughs> well, Shutterbug, come on, take a picture. Smile, you two lovebirds. <laughs> wow, that seemed to have a lot of logic problems. What are these cookies? Is that your image here on the back? No, images of females on a box that you're just selling. You should get a patch for confrontation. Go to your supervisor and say, I don't do this. Do you know what it costs to run a place? And you're asking for me to buy boxes of cookies? It's not cookie time. I'm gonna get those sachets and tie them in a nut. Why did you stop yelling at the girls? I'm having a heart attack. What? Well, we should go to the hospital. Yes, we should go to the hospital. Okay. Let me tell you something. What? The next time someone in your life has a heart attack, you immediately step to... You have to wake up! Wake up! Wake up! Wake up! Wake up. Wake up. five more minutes. I just need a little more time to sleep. Don't give you any for school. Mommy doesn't feel good. I'll be up in a second. You don't feel good? Uh-uh. I don't feel good. I feel like I can't stand up right now. I want to sleep all day. I wake up with this headache. I wake up and I can't even breathe. I feel drugged. Do you think these sheets? Are they like some weird fabric or if something? If you're sick, you should go to the doctor. Hey, buddy, didn't I tell you to go downstairs? Why are you by the door? Mm -hmm. I just feel tired all the time. Look at my eyes. They're fully open right now. This took me three nights to watch one episode of Masters of Sex. I just kept falling asleep. Pretty common. I mean, is there some kind of an osis or an itis? No. Should I get an MRI? No. A CT scan? No. Could you run an ultrasound over me? No. no. Eat more fiber, get more exercise, but you're basically fine. I, I don't know. I think we're going to want a second opinion, third opinion. Obviously, something's wrong. My feet seem extra cold on the wood floors. Mm. After some coffee at night after dinner, uh -huh. there's like a sort of jitteriness. Mm. It doesn't seem right to me. You're fine. Are you sure? You guys are fine. Great. Well, we'll get a third opinion then. Ugh. You're fine. Come on. You're supposed to know the gray area. That's why we came to you. Next. Cafeteria, you gotta order the tuna aspect. They don't just serve it. Good luck with the surgery. Oh, honey, I'm so nervous. Don't worry, I'm gonna be fine. It's just a routine exam, you know? I'm just, probably just a bad case of hiccups. Oh, sorry to keep you waiting. This is a part of my job I hate. Mr. Peter... Lelini? What is that? The, 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 the last name's Peter Lini. So it's Peter, Peter, Peter Lini. It's a Peter. Peter Lini. It's an Italian name. Oh, I love Italy. Oh, yeah. My great-grandfather's from Calabria. Where's that, northern or southern? Oh, that's uh, central Italy. The best food I've ever had in Italy. You can't get a bad meal there. Oh, Never yeah. met anybody oh, had they, a bad they, meal. Some of the tomato paste was a little uh, acidic. And you go, honey, let's go in this museum here. How much do they charge? You go, oh, no, this is a pharmacy. It's not even a museum. It's, you go, you yeah. see a guy with a Vespa I, and a sorry. scarf. You go, he works for Fellini. No, he's a file clerk. They, they have what a, a great story. There's a quanti fagioli ci sono nel bicchiere. Ci, ci, so it's, ci, it's a, how many beans are in the jar? How many but beans? But can we just yeah. focus on yeah. Yeah. It's a game show. That's something. I'm sorry. Can... Can you tell us whether he's okay? I just, I can't really take waiting. Oh yes, I'm sorry. We did a full workup. Temperature course was fine. BP and heart rate, great. Cholesterol, super low, whatever you're doing, keep it up. And you have cancer. Damn it. Knew it. Ouch. You have another 40 to 42 years to live. Peter. Put your seatbelt on, please. But what's the difference? I'm gonna die in 40 years anyway. You know what? It makes a difference to me. I can't lose my guy, okay? Okay. Hey, I just thought of something. Don't I get three wishes? What do you mean? Well, the Make-A-Wish Foundation, the, 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 that company, they, they, they grant you any wish you want. I guess so. <laughs> they do, I know they do. They have to, that's what the company does. Okay, well, I'm curious what these wishes are. I got something to live for. You're having multiple daily heart attacks because your heart is severely corroded. 
So what is to be done about that? Here's a key word I want you to start thinking about, exercise. I don't have time for that. I don't believe in that, having a priest come in here while I'm just up here like. No, this is exercise, as in work out. You need to get your heart working. Oh, like what, like jogging? Yes. Oh, like so that I could just be like on the beach and this can fall off and I'm like running? No, no. Oh, please like right cover up. Like Would this? you cover up, please? No, look at this. Look at it. I fed two children with these and many lovers. You need to get some form of exercise, and I'm going to sign you up for the aerobics class, water aerobics, in a couple hours. Doctor? OK. You have less nipple hair than me. Oh, really? Hey, raw milk sample here. We got raw milk right here, free samples. Hi, folks. Hi, how are you? Have you guys ever tried raw milk before? We haven't. Uh, what is it exactly? Let me just take a guess. Kind of tough getting up in the morning, sluggish, achy, you're feeling down. Doctor says no big deal, you're fine, get over it. That's actually exactly what our doctor said. Yeah. I've got the cure for you right here. Delicious, unpasteurized, straight from the cow's udder milk. Doesn't pasteurization kind of protect us from bacteria and other illness? Did your mom pasteurize your breast milk? Uh, no. No, I didn't think so, and you know why? Because pasteurization is the devil. Huh. Now, is this safe, by the way, before we start digging into this? Safe. I mean, like, you're out here in this, you know. Yeah. This has absolutely been chilled. Mm -hmm. And that's exactly why I have ice and that I have a thermos. And it's legal. Yes? Sure, we'll, we'll try I it. I don't care. Yeah, that's we'll try it. That's the spirit right there. You will taste nature's goodness right here, my friend. Huh. It's pretty nice. Right now, my headache's gone. It's gone. That pain I've been having for so long, it's gone. I feel like my allergies are gone. I feel awake. <laughs> I like laughing. <laughs> well, thank you. Don't stop the revolution! Keep milk alive! What are we gonna do? We need more of this. I mean... Brendan, I, I don't want this feeling to end. Like, I feel so good right now. That was instant. I will not go back. I will not go back to high before. Uh, <laughs> Brandon, I need more. I need more of this milk. Hi, welcome to Bake-A-Wish. How can I help you? Yeah, I wanted to uh, make a wish for my little Peter. Oh, of course. All right. I'm just going to uh, ask you a few questions. First off, how old is Peter? Oh, well, he is 42. Shoot. Darn. Um, it's so close. Our foundation specifically focuses on children mm -hmm. between the ages of 2 and a half and 18. So he's just a few years out of the age range. He's, he's a child at heart. I'll, I'll just tell you that now. I mean, he loves to be tickled uh, on his elbows. Oh, okay. um, he loves checkers and um, little cups of applesauce. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, what would you do if you were me? You know, and I have this wonderful husband. I'm just, I'm kind of in a pickle. Peter didn't happen to wish for a tote bag, did he? No. So if he didn't tell you, I'll bring that to him just in case. Fine. They're really high quality. Thank you. The least I can do. Hi, Peter. I'm home. How was it? Well, um, it was great. <laughs> They're going to grant you a wish. OK, uh, oh, I'm so excited. Uh, uh, what, what, what if I, I did a one-on-one -on -one, uh, dunking contest with Michael Jordan, you know? Wow. What if I did stand-up? With, with, with Sinbad. Okay. Maybe um, I could win the Indy 500 with, with the Formula One race car. What about something like Epcot? Uh, Epcot? What's, what's that? You know, it's the big dome in Florida near Disney World. Oh, I don't, I don't, I, I, I don't, I don't know if I want to do that. What if I, I could be in, 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 a, in a poster with Brigitte Nielsen? Oh, I didn't know you liked her. Oh, Nisk. All men like Brigitte Nielsen. You know what I didn't realize? I didn't realize you wanted so much. Nance, this is the only thing keeping me going. I love you, and you'll be the best wife anyone could ever imagine. But I, I want to make these moments memorable. I'll do the thinking on this, OK? Just you be my liaison with the Make-A-Wish Foundation. Move this way and this way, and this way and this way. Crouch down a little bit. Crouch down. This reminds me of a time that I was trapped in a water bath. Okay, we're gonna do some noodles now. There you go. There you go. Um, what's this robot snake here that's in the water? It, it vacuums the bottom of the pool. It's a skimmer. 
Can we please have this thing moved? I'm trying not to stress myself out. I don't want another heart attack. Can you try to pull yourself free, dear? Come on. <laughs> calmness, calmness, calmness. Dad, <laughs> Try to push it away, dear. Try to push it away. Tony, I'm having another heart attack. Great. Well, first we're gonna sue the filter company, then we're gonna sue the swimming pool company, then we're gonna sue the instructor, and I suppose next is you who we're gonna sue. So, unless you've got any other options. Well, since you refuse to exercise. No, 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 exercise refused me. Whatever, since exercise is not an option, the only other choice is a heart transplant. Heart transplant? Is there anything else? Death. We'll take the transplant. Good choice. So scary. It's okay. Doctor. Yes. Oh, fine. Okay, that's the fifth bucket this morning. Wow, it's so much. I know. What are we gonna do with all this milk? I'm like overflowing with it. I literally can't drink anymore. You look beautiful, by the way. You do too. I mean, really beautiful, radiant. You're glowing. So are you. Look how. I move. I don't know how long that used to take me to get down and turn around. Yeah. My bones, just everything is just like really fluid. Don't you feel like I enunciate super well now? I woke up so early, I made the kids breakfast, made them lunch, got them out the door. I mean, it just felt fine. I took an online class and read Ulysses this morning. In the morning? Yes. <laughs> I never think everything's so funny for some reason. <laughs> <laughs> My laugh is different, right? It is. <laughs> wow, you're not blinking. No. I haven't blinked since this morning. I don't blink, I don't yawn. I just wish we could get this milk to all the people out there who don't feel good. Yeah, I mean, it's almost selfish that we're the only ones drinking it. Raw milk, it's the future. Agreed. The FDA is telling you lies. When they pasteurize the milk, they're taking out a lot of the benefits. That's the truth, but we found the answer. Wanna try some of this? It's raw milk. Here you go, wanna taste? You could pour it into your coffee, you could pour it into your tea, you could make chocolate milk out of it. It could be some kind of a holiday drink. How are you? Raw milk is really nutritious, I've never felt better. What do you two think you're doing? Oh, and that's the doctor. He will tell you, you're fine, that's not true. You wanna be healthy? Raw milk. Call security. Take it, you'll feel better. You're fine. You're not fine. Oh, you're fine. Hi, I was wondering if you knew how to get hold of Michael Jordan or his manager. Hi, yes, I'm calling about your comedian, Mr. Sinbad. I was wondering if he is interested in a comedy partner. Hi, I was wondering whether Hertz rents Formula One cars. Formula One? Hi, yes, I'm calling for Brigitte Nielsen. Yeah, Peter. Can you hear the bell? I, I could hear it, I was on the phone. Oh, it, it might be the cancer talking, but I could use some Berry Berry Kicks cereal. You know what, they don't make that anymore. Yeah, but y y y can we just find it? Well, we can't. What about pickles, can I have pickles? It might be the cancer talking, but that, that's pretty much what I want. Okay, we don't have pickles right now. Can you go get pickles? You know, I went to the store twice already today. Pickles and apricot ice cream. We have pretty much every other flavor of ice cream, if you want oh, that. Apricot. That is a very harsh sound in my ears. How's the Make-A-Wish going? I'm sure it's fine, I'm sure they're on it. Can you get them on the phone now? What I would love, Peter, is 10 minutes to myself. Why do you need so much time to yourself? It's not like you have cancer. Well, maybe I should try to get cancer, Peter. Why? Nance, are you going up to the store? Nance. Cancer, Peter, cancer, Peter, cancer, Peter. Contamination. 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 So do I have cancer? You are cancer free. This isn't the face of cancer. Come on! I'm trying so hard. I'll be back. I'll be back with cancer. Hope it works out. Nurse, we should start prepping the patient. Okay, can we slow down a second? I just want to find out about this heart that's about to be in my body. Um, who is this woman? Was she a writer? Was she a daredevil? Was she a stunt woman? I believe it was a man. Oh, absolutely not. No. We, we will not put a man's organ in a woman's body. That's very unnatural. What are you talking about? A heart is a heart. How do you know she won't grow a scrotum with that heart? I can promise you she's not gonna grow a scrotum. When you put a male organ in a woman's cavity, I'm pretty sure that is <laughs> penetration. Okay, never mind with the heart. Now, hold on a second. I'd like to see it first, if you don't mind. I wanna see it, too. Oh. I thought it'd be more of a sort of Valentine shape, you know. Me too, with like a little arrow going through it. Close it up and put it back, would you please? No, 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 no. That's mine, correct? Legally? 
Well, yes, you were in line for it. I was in line for it. I waited a long time in line, right? You didn't That's wait at all. You waited like an hour for we it. We waited less than that. Either way, I want it, but we want it in the garbage can right there. What? Throw it in the garbage. Take the heart, or we'll sue, and put it in the trash. Open it up and dump it. Put that in my body, walk around. Oh, when's the football game? When's the football game? Oh, boy. Listen, stop looking at that. This is what you're going to do. Is there anything like, you know, just experimental, something untested? Something perhaps not from the US, perhaps Europe or Asia? Let me make a call. Yes, it's a go. Thank you all for attending this hastily thrown together medical conference. I'm here today to talk about a very exciting experimental medical procedure, the animal to human heart transplant. As I said, it's experimental, so we do not yet have the AMA or the FDA approvals, and there are some side effects, but I think it's really worth it for this life-saving procedure. Okay, primates, 98% match in the DNA. Right there, you know you have a good chance of success. Yes, Tony? Um, are there any uh, side effects? A sudden craving for a lot of bananas, and I mean a lot. You start climbing around the office area, from cubicle to cubicle, you know, people are gonna get upset with you. Now, this is a skunk, of course. If you're gonna get this transplant, first of all, it's a small heart, and then you have to take the odor sac with it. They're connected with a vein that you don't want to sever. You have to keep the two intact, but you're gonna have a heart that works, and works well. Your octopus. Eight arms and three hearts. <gasps> three hearts? You heard me right. Can't we just maybe chip in three of us together? We can get three hearts from one octopus? Does anyone want to join up? We don't go in halvesies or thirds on medical procedures, but thank you. Oh. This has nothing to do with the transplants, but this is my cat, and I took this this morning. Is there anything cuter? Is that cat available for adoption? Let's talk after the conference. Bears, big heart, robust heart, but again, a lot of foraging, and you may just be gone from October until May. So that concludes the presentation. We expect to have this ready in 30 years. 30 years? I'm sorry, I, that's a long time. I can't wait that long. Is there anything I can do? If you're willing to sign a release of liability and put down a hefty deposit. Yes, yes please. We are, we are. Next. Thank you very much. Okay, thanks for waiting, guys. We'll do this as quickly as possible. One at a time. Thank you. All right. Great, use it in good health. All right, next. Hi, thanks for having exact change. Appreciate it. Thank you. Hi there. Please have your money ready, everybody. Call the police! What? what? Get the money. No, 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 the cow, the cow, the cow, the cow! Go! Stop! Everybody on the ground! Get down! Get down! Get on the ground! Oh, come on! This is illegal. I feel great. I'm not tired at all. Stop! Portland police! Come on, come on, we got this. You're under arrest for unauthorized distribution of unpasteurized milk. I'm like enjoying running. <laughs> Thanks, raw milk. Stay raw. <laughs> oh, man, I'm out of it. Maybe there's something about that raw milk, but damn it, it's against the law. Nance, can I have a foot massage? Mm. And some corned beef hash? Nance? Nance Peter Lee? Nance? Flight itinerary? Who, who's going on a trip? Portland to CNPP? Ch Ch Chernobyl? Oh, oh, I've heard so much about you. Hi. Oh, you've got such a wonderful husband, Nance. Oh, well, what are you doing here? What are you doing here? Chernobyl? This is really dangerous. You're going to really hurt yourself. Well, I just felt terrible that everything wasn't working out. And if you were going to be sick, I wanted to be sick. No, Nance, that doesn't make any sense whatsoever. And I want you to be healthy all the time. 
I found out about the Make-A-Wish Foundation thing. They can't grant wishes for someone my age. I just, I was so embarrassed when I found out that, that Make-A-Wish wasn't going to help. Guess what? They all came through. M Michael Jordan called back and, 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 and he let me use plane. And, and then I combined my other wishes of being in a poster with Bridget Nielsen and, and, and skydiving. It was my first time. That was my first try. It's all because of you. You, you did it. Oh, Peter, you're the best. Just, I don't want you to act like a baby anymore, though. I got greedy, and I'll never do that to you again. Let's make the most of these 40 years, OK? If, if you don't mind, may I just say something? You two just really need to connect, reach out, love each other. Like my husband and I, we go to Italy, we sit on the beach, we eat the ravioli, we kiss, we make love, and we do it over and over. But sorry, I, I, I don't want to be in your way, OK? Let's do that. Let's, let's eat ravioli and make love over and over again. That sounds like a good plan, Nance. And no more of this, OK? OK. Uh, Brigitte, I'm going to lean in for a kiss. Okay. <laughs> wow. Oh, that's so Danish. Mm. Hi, Tony. Candace, you don't have to be here so soon after your surgery. I can run the store. No, it's better for me to be here, and the procedure was so easy, and I actually feel 100%. What are you doing? Just little pieces of lint or something. I just want to just get off of you. Hey, you know what? Stop picking on me. Get it? <laughs> hey, are you an art student? You're not answering because you're an art student. You just want to keep quiet and just sit there and sulk. Well, if you are an art student, come down to Shocking Art Supplies. Shocking Art Supply and Craft. You want to be radical? This is the radical store for you. We're talking about shock. We're talking about authenticity, rebellion, subversion, urban, 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 urban. urban. We've got everything here for your art school needs. Pre-smash TVs! Get a whole stack of TVs. You could pile a bunch of these and run static through it. So it's like... It's your workshop. Tear down minutes off. Mission accomplished. We've got baby doll parts. Uh, you can put them together in any way you want. It's up to you. And Shepard here will help you out. There's a radical juxtaposition. The butt is in the front. What does that say about our society? We've got mannequins. And stencils. Ugh, riot cops. We've got American flags. Upside down flags. $20. Why did we charge $20 for these? Because they do that. We want you here. Because you know what we have? Shocking art supplies. And you get a 20% discount if you're hunched over and you've got an army jacket. Mm-hmm. Uh -huh. This is our next jam. Our target, Japanese whaling boats. Yes, like it. Whaling? It's so cruel. Awful. It's messed up. We're gonna hit these bastards right where they work. Yes. Take our little boats, go all around, just ruin their time. Wow. We get up into the steering wheel and like, as he's steering, you know, they, they have this thing, just put our arm there. Oh yeah. But like right in front of his face, just like. Sorry, what time is it? Protest time. Arm out. They're done for the day. Where exactly does this take place? Antarctica. Uh, isn't that like the coldest place in the world? I would say yes. We could explore the idea of protesting somewhere warm. I agree. I mean, my sister, she just went to Hawaii and I saw the pictures and they were beautiful. It's like, I bet there's something kind of like messed up about like the surfing industry we could protest. Oh yeah. Maybe we could do like stop stealing all the seashells. Right. Yes. The problem is it's not cheap to get to Hawaii. I know. San Diego. SeaWorld! Yes. That's perfect. Whales! They're the worst! No. The whales go crazy and then they kill the trainers. But do you know why that happened? It's because it's in captivity. I mean, not to talk down to you, but that's kind of what's going on. That's a new perspective on it. It's not a perspective, it's actually what's happening. It's what's happening. It's not that the whales are the worst, it's the treatment of the whales is the worst. I mean, I'm open to going, to San Diego and exploring it and getting a tan and... Well, let's protest. I mean, not only is there great protesting, but there's the fish tacos, there's the walkable neighborhoods, there's the gas lamp district. Gas lamp. Yeah, but we're there to protest. Hey, Benji, you think you might cut that rat tail before we go to San Diego? I've got friends who love this. Who? Brandon? Oh, come on. This is beautiful. You wish you had one. That's what you told me. We're at that market and you were like, I love it! I love that rat tail! Give me it! You were, 
You're gonna deny it? <sighs> All right. San Diego, let's go down there, free the whales, protest, and we're not gonna freeze our buns off. Protein Terminal 5. You cannot underestimate or overestimate the amount of time it's going to take you to get through these cars. This is where you can't mess up. Shh. You have to be in the slow lane if you need to stall for time. You have to be in the fast lane if you need to make up for time. Do not talk to me like I don't know what I'm doing and I haven't done this before. Listen to me. If you have to go around again, then I'm getting a vanilla latte. Shh. You know who might hear us. I'm sorry. Anyway, it's our best, last hope. Come on, buddy. They're looking right at me. Spotted me. Hey, Subaru, let's go. It's going right now. I need more time. All right, got an idea. Hello, I'm his twin brother. Going in there from Australia, but did a bit of backpacking and I got my inoculus. Look around. Can't believe I'm here. Wow, look at this. You gotta move. Okay, I'm moving. Cancel, cancel, cancel. Don't leave me. You didn't listen. Cancel, cancel. Gotta go. Eagle spotting me right now. Move. Should have scheduled better. Hey. How's the flight? It was fine. Oh, good. Yeah, they were trying to move me, and I was like all freaking out. Oh my god, I was like racing through the airport. I was like zigzagging by. What? I can't sleep. Did I tell you I made a will? You did? Do I get anything? Yeah, you get my guitars. Okay, if anything happens to me, you get it back. Hey, Carrie, it's me, Mayor. Oh, oh hi, Mr. Mayor. Hey, I need some help. It just seems like to ensure my legacy, I need some kind of a conspiracy around my administration. What do you mean a conspiracy? You don't like a video. You want us to help you make a conspiracy video? Can you do that? Yeah, we can help you. Great. Let me change that. OK, we should start off with, like, just all black. Good. And then what we'll do is let's let's have, like, a, a quote. Yeah, a quote's good. Behind the eyes of those in power lies the questions that go unanswered. Ooh. Right. And let's attribute that quote to unknown. I like that. Oh, that's good. I like it. All right, let's get some footage of you. There's plenty of stuff out there. Yeah, yeah, all right, now. Why don't we do like one of those oval highlights around? Those are always really good. Oh, uh-huh. Okay, so like around that, okay. okay. All right, now make it black and white. Speaking of black and white, my idea is to put forth that the mayor has been around for millennia. So you are looking back at like cave paintings and you're like, wait a second, is that the mayor? That's interesting. Civil but, War. Right, could he be there? Look at the moon landing. Wait, is that the mayor? It's the mayor. World War One. World War Two. Could it be? The Last Supper. Let's say there, there's like a video from Napoleon's time, right? So there he is, Napoleon is going by in his carriage. And you look past the horse and there's like a little oval highlight. Oh my God, is that the mayor? And then it's over. The horse is like in front of him and we don't know. So it's like but, this. But wait, 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 with the footage, are we recreating it? Do you want to hire actors to film some I think boy? there must be some footage. Can't we find some footage of Napoleon's yeah, carriage? They didn't even have photographs. How do they have film? We just don't know. We just don't know. Type French Revolution into YouTube. OK, let's do that then. There's paint. Look, it's all painting. Well, then let's do a painting, and we'll superimpose the mayor's face over one of the bodies in the painting. That's right. Ken Burns does that all the time. All right, so here's a painting. What do you want to do with this? So if we take this, perhaps, and maybe the fellow that's right there, you just take that face and you just move it ever so slightly. Which guy? Eye open. Mr. Mayor. His this eye guy. opens ever so slightly. Am I animating it? We think he's dead, but he's not really dead. He's winking. And he looks a little bit like the mayor, but he's winking at us like, I know something that you don't know. OK, how do I make that face look like your face? You can see I'm winking a little bit like that. OK. You want his face on there. Now scratch it up a little bit. You make it sort of scratchy, so maybe someone tore it from the camera. Is it a video? What is it? No, is it's it? a postcard. It's like a postcard. Wait, 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 guys. Time out, time out. Why is there a postcard? What happened to this conspiracy video? No, it's not a conspiracy video anymore. It's a conspiracy postcard. That's true. Are we sending these out? Why is there? How are people getting this postcard? I think people can find them at the, at the airport. People we can sell them at the kiosk. So we're now we're designing a postcard with your face on it. People buy these like hotcakes. They're going to pick, you know, the Portland skyline or the timbers. They're not going to pick a, a French painting with, with the winking dead guy in the corner. How are they going to see that? It's the mayor.
Hey. 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 Um, what do you guys think? SeaWorld? Yeah. yeah. Her test? So when we get down there, we're gonna tell them what it's about. Yeah. Lay it down. I was gonna suggest that maybe before we go to do that, we check out all the fun things of San Diego, because once we get the whale, the cops are gonna be after us. It's gonna be... They're open till 9, so we have some hours. We're gonna do noon? Okay, so we got a couple hours till the protest, but until then, fun. See you back here. Okay, bye, guys. This is crazy! You can't beat a trilly woman at all. We have the best. We have the sweetest. The sweeter than Madinga Shura. I love them. The sweetest woman in the world. There's a Trinidad and Tobago. My little Tobago woman. If you have a Trinidad woman, you're lucky. Look at that bumper. That bumper rolling is a rolly poly. <laughs> So much fun. Me neither. I love it. Hey, Benji. San Diego. Right? What a place. I know. You look beautiful. Thank you. Those are kind of like rat tails, wouldn't you say? Not really. They're cornrows. That's a rat tail. There's a difference. Uh, fine. I met someone. That was fast. Yeah, I mean, we'll see, but it's feeling really good so far. Does he have a friend? <laughs> I'm going to ask. Hey, I had fish tacos. How was it? Unbelievable. So, so great. Um, what do you guys think? SeaWorld? I was actually thinking, could we push the protest back till 3? Three o'clock sounds Three good. But once we get down, we gotta tell them really what we're about. Yeah, yeah. yeah. All right, okay, we're gonna yeah. lay it down. Yeah. See you. See you then, bye. This is crazy. You can't beat a silly woman at all. Just one look at them and you will get jumpy. Just so you will feel so happy. Silly woman is the hardest hard. The hard, the hard, the hard, the hard. Oh my God. Yes. It's literally the most beautiful place you could ever go to. It's magic here. Stunning views. Yeah. Are you I right? love it. Yes. I had margaritas. You did you? Yeah. It's awesome. I can smell it. I will say the doorman is a an asshole because he thinks he's got an attitude when you try to go in. It's a hotel. He's just there to help. I know, I know, I know. Um, I'm being a dick. Don't worry about it. Jeff's having a party tonight. Who's Jeff? Jeff's my boyfriend. Oh, you guys made it official? Yeah. He's a lucky dude. You guys are all invited. He really wants to meet you. After SeaWorld, we'll go? Oh, right. I'm supposed to drive the getaway car. I just, honestly, I'm probably not fit to drive. And if the cops pull me over, I'm We could do that tomorrow and party tonight and then go right into SeaWorld. I totally want to go to that party. Let's go to a party. You want to go to a party? I love San Diego so much. I know. I could cry. Don't. Like, don't. All right. I won't. All right, I'll see you guys in a few hours. Yes. <laughs> see you guys! Hi, I'm Bryce Shivers. And I'm Lisa Eversman. At our store, Dead Pets, we have something for the taxidermy lover of all ages. These are the animals we have available to you today. Hell of the bat. This is to let people know that you are definitely counterculture, definitely interesting, a little on the darker side. One time my nephews came over and I put this little guy on a string and I just like whipped it around like this. It scared them so much. Bryce is a great uncle. They were so frightened. This is a beaver. People thought, oh, how cute. You decided to put a hat on him. No, he died wearing this hat. Dead pet. Ow! God damn it. Is it bleeding? No. I like to think that this deer is saying, yeah, my ex-wife did this. Hey, at least I'm not hanging out with my mother-in-law. Dead pets! Hello? Hello, is this where the party is? Rude. Ah! Hi! And friends? Yes! Hi! Hi! <laughs> These are my friends. Hi. Hi. Nice to meet it's you. Who's Benji. This? Benji. That's Dakota. That's Brandon. Welcome to the party. You're the first ones here. Yeah. Mm, what do you think of this unit? It's beautiful. I, I love it. You just love everything about it. You want a little tour? You want to look around? Yeah. So this is the master, and it's uh, uh, fully furnished, like all these places. And then, of course, this lovely, lovely bathroom. Here it is, of which I spoke. Oh, my gosh. Every time. It's uh, magical. I find it magical. You get a view of this delicious harbor, and you know, you're steps away from a Whole Foods. Do you like Whole Foods? Mm, yes. Yeah. I, 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 I love it. And here we are back mm, in the living room. 
Hey, let me ask you guys something. How many times a year do you come to um, San Diego? It's our first this time, really. It's our first time. Do you stay in a hotel? Yeah. Yeah. So expensive around here, aren't you? It's insane. Yeah. This unit that you've been looking at, for $3,000, you could have access to it for six weeks a year. Wasn't there supposed to be, like, a party here tonight or something? Well, can I make a little confession? There's actually no party. I'm hoping the upshot of which is to uh, sell you on this idea of timeshares. Take a look at that. That's why I had that out. Well, this looks pretty good. So this was the party? Uh, yeah. It's all pretty much, it's pretty simple, cut and dry. Mm-hmm. Brandon, you want to get the checkbook out? Who do we make it out to? Uh, SeaWorld. They own everything around here. It goes to SeaWorld, yeah. Nice. SeaWorld? Yeah. yeah. What's the matter? This is why we came down here. To protest SeaWorld. We're anti-SeaWorld. They're not directly. Uh... Yes, they are directly. Let me tell you something. There's literally a whale on the contract. Mm. Yeah, I know I got lured in by the tacos and the jet skis and the margaritas and everything, but it's just a trap. Oh, it's a wonderful place. This is a wonderful vacation spot. Let me show you what we think of that. That's a big waste of paper, isn't it? We're not interested. You've got the wrong people, because I think we're kind of not suckers. Look I think that. you've misunderstood. Oh, no, you know what? We gotta go. Britt, come on. Come on, Britt, let's get out of here. I think I'm gonna stay. What? I think you guys should go. Are you sure? Yeah, I'm sure. Oh, jeez. Right. Gross. All right. Nice to meet you. Sorry. We'll, we'll clean this up. Thanks, Brandon. This was real, right? Yeah. here to set up your will and I know it's not the most fun thing thinking about death but this way at least everything will be taken care of. I think it is fun thinking about death. I was more looking forward to this than I am my birthday this year. Okay so Vince let's start with you. Um, what would you like to do with your personal property? My collection of capes and top hats. I would bequeath to my loved one Jacqueline. Thank you. My collection of wax faces and wax heads that are encased in glass to look like Jacqueline, I'd love for her to take care of them. And I've got a, a painting that looks like a, a normal aristocrat, but then when there's lightning, it's just like. Do you want that one? I do. And Jacqueline, what about you? A player piano from a haunted stagecoach. Do you want that? Please. Vince? Okay. Tears from a Scottish deerhound. Vince? And what about funeral services? Any special instructions there? Uh, I would like it to be in an old, decrepit, abandoned church at the top of a hill. There should be uh, some shrieks heard in the distance. Who, and who's shrieking? Who isn't shrieking? We'll have like, we'll have a professional shrieker. It should be like old wooden doors. Of, yeah! Uh, with a greeter at the door, like, Are you here for the funeral? Okay. And then all of a sudden, the coffin opens, and there's no body. Where would your body be located? I, I want to be cremated. Great. And what about you, Jacqueline? I would like my body dragged out to a dimly lit field by jackals and left there to rot. Would you be willing to consider just having like a coffin and be buried in that? Fine. Two jackals towing a coffin to a field, and then let me rot. OK. And it should be at midnight, so if there's lightning, it's like. <laughs> OK, do you have any property that you would need to have taken care of if you pass on simultaneously? Bella. And who's Bella? Our bat. OK, and who would you like to take care of Bella? We like you. You seem very responsible, and that's what we'd want. What's involved with taking care of Bella? You have to make sure that she's safe and able to get into her cave. There's a lot of fluttering, you know, like at night. OK, so I think I have, um, Pretty much everything. And the shriek? Yeah, we'll have to audition for that. You're great. Okay, we'll call you if they die within your lifetime. Thank you. Thank you. Thanks. Bella, go to your cave! Exit in line, please. Hey, welcome to SeaWorld San Diego, Hamishamu. Hey, uh, where's the exhibit where they mistreat the whales? 
Oh, you mean the 4D experience? What's the 4D experience? There's a big screen. It's super IMAX, and we give you special glasses. Oh, what kind of glasses? They're 3D, but the music makes it 4D. Splash you with water and stuff. That'd be super fun, right? No, we have a purpose. Oh, the find your porpoise is actually really terrific. No, not that. Wherever you mistreat these animals, that's where we want to go. I think you might enjoy the orgasmic experience. What? You get wet checking out the world's largest and most majestic sea mammals. So you sell that to kids? Unless you guys are students, then we can also give you a different deal. Are you still in school? Did you graduate? What was your major? You don't even know. Well, it doesn't matter. Look, we came here for a reason. Okay, to release an animal, to release a whale into the wild, back into the ocean, that's where they belong. But Benji, we didn't bring equipment for that. We didn't plan for that. We can't just carry a whale out of here. I'm gonna save something. Look out! Benji! Excuse me, please. Excuse me. Benji! If you want to free something, we have a buy two, get one free. It's a family package. It's all inclusive. There's a three hour tour. Move, move, please. Fly fish. Come on, let's get out of here. Hey, Come with me. You can't do that. What is that? It's a fish. So they feed the whales. You rescued it? It's alive. And you saved an animal from SeaWorld just like we said we were going to do. Yeah. You did it. We did it. Set me free. Set me free. Sorry, little guy. Let's try again. All right. Come on, buddy. Here you go. All right. Perfect. Okay. All right, all right. There's a burger with your name on it. Happy Fourth of July. This is great. It's great. <laughs> We're sorry. What, what happened? What's the problem? I think you guys are out of napkins. Out of napkins. No napkins. I'm so sorry. What's wrong with you? Wipe off this burger with your face. <laughs> they don't need napkins. This is the USA. They do USA. Need no. No. USA. No. 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 Dave. No, hey. no, 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 no. Hey, wake up. You're having a nightmare. It was the worst. What? It was a barbecue and everything was falling apart and people didn't want their food and they were sending it back and everything was cold. What day is it? July 4th. It's okay, though. It's not okay. Dave, this year, we caught Gertie, the grill guru. We're gonna be fine. We got all the right decorations. Yeah. You have the right meats. Yeah. You have the right vegetarian options. You have all the right drinks, yeah. all the right ice cubes, yeah. the right mustard. Yeah, I can't wait for you to see the shorts I'm gonna wear today. I'm supposed to go to Karin and Lance's barbecue today. Oh, I wanna go to that. I also wanna go by Lana's and just say hi. I think Chris is doing a barbecue with chicken or something we're supposed yes. to try out. Yes, and we should go to Brian and Morgan's because they have a really good view of the fireworks. Maria's doing hers, so we definitely have to stop by that one. And Jamie's. Aren't Dave and Dave having a barbecue? Jeff and Joni. Who? The Duggins. I don't know them. How about Dr. Number One? Huge barbecue. And Lawrence. And the Petra triplets. Havels? The Janines. Where? Joey. Ping Pong. Hughes. The Haydens. We gotta go to their barbecue. And the Haydens. JJ's. What time? On the Muchachos. We gotta go to that one. They're having a barbecue. Oh, yeah, and Cliff's. <sighs> Should we just skip the whole 4th of July? Pride, we can't do that. It's depressing. I'll just stay home with my dog and I'll be asleep before the fireworks start. We have to go out. All we have to do is stick to a plan. Be disciplined. Okay, it's in your hands, because, you know. It'll be fun. We can go to all the barbecues. Sam, July 4th is upon us. Tonight, we shall celebrate with a dazzling display of sky pyrotechnics. Fireworks. Okay, here we have a variety of different uh, Fourth of July barbecue themes. Americana. A red, white, and blue kind of stuff. Right, like a blueberries and raspberries on the cake, and we approximate the look of an American flag. Well, you know, we love red, white, and blue. Mm -hmm. but I feel like we've been to that barbecue. Been there, done that. Have you done this? It's a luau. That's a roasted pig. It's violent. And indeed, there is an element of violence of taking a spear and putting it through the mouth of a pig. At the barbecue. At the barbecue. The pig is trained to jump towards you to its death. So then it's self-defense, really? Yeah. So we'll say luau, maybe. I think we want to make a statement. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I want to do what is just, just the other side of impossible. Oh, I think I have just the thing. 
and it's called the Shitty Punk Barbecue. Huh. Now, punks traditionally uh, gather in backyards that are mostly concrete or swaths of lawn that have never been mowed. Reggae music is coming out from the house uh, and a half-broken speaker, and the house has one bathroom. Toilets usually clogged. Wow, I like the sound of that. I mean... And everybody brings random assortments of uh, vegan hot dogs and veggie burgers that are frozen. Yeah. Great. So I was thinking our version of that could be a fennel frisé almond mm. vegan hot dog. What do you think of that? This screams to me authentic. Yeah. So I say yes. It's an entire experience you'd be signing up for. You know, everything's <laughs> you, <laughs> you, and you better not have thin skin. <laughs> you. Wow. Very good. Hey, f off. Whoa. Hey, f you back. <laughs> and f myself. <laughs> and what's the style? Is it uh, spiky hair? Spiky hair, hair and... blue hair. A lot of studs. Um, well, we have one stud. We have one stud right here. That's right. Where? Dave. Oh, yes, of course. Dave. I'm a cute guy sometimes. Sam. Parade. Check. Bunting. Tiny flags everywhere. Check. Fireworks. Sam, this is where you're supposed to say check. I'm still waiting to hear back from my guy. You sure he's gonna call? Any minute now. Hello. Oh, that's too bad. Bye. What do you mean, that's too bad? Hey, look, I don't know what to tell you boys. I'm up Shit's Creek here. My entire stash has been confiscated, incinerated. They took everything? Everything. Not the smiley face. How about the one that goes, No, they didn't get those. What part of my entire stash confiscated don't you understand? Oh. Hey, look, and I got 90 days before I'm even going to be able to start putting something together. That's not even going to help us. We need those fireworks. We need them now. We need them today. We got to get them. Who's your connection? Maybe we can deal directly with them. <laughs> Boys ever heard of the deep web? The deep web? So is that like a fishing underwater? Uh, no, sir, the, the deep web was developed by the government so that spies could talk to each other, and now it's just a hangout for the criminal underworld, a digital black market. So you think they might have fireworks? I know they got fireworks. They got guns, they got hookers, oh, they got, oh, 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 you name okay, it, they good, got good, it. Good, good, okay, good, 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 good. Um, is there like a monthly fee? Do you... So what you're gonna need to do is download the latest Tor client software. Well, you know how to do that, right, Sam? Sure. Great. Log in. It'll pretty much direct you from there. All right, well, let's get the bloodhounds out and go. Excuse you've been very helpful. God. Happy fourth to you. Them. Left and left. Good luck to you boys. Left and left. Maybe we should get some wine before we go to Jenna's. Well, that's not a bad idea. Yeah, well, maybe we can stop at the store. Okay. You know, we actually have to go. You want to leave? Yeah. I've been here like 15 minutes. I know, but we have to stick to the schedule. Okay, well, I'll just say bye to Corin. Okay, hurry up, though. Okay. Hey, I think we're gonna take off. It was great, though. It was so good to see you. It was so delicious. I didn't even get to see you. Hey, what's up, man? Are we maybe doing something next week? Usually in Mexico, they sort of give you a bow goodbye. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding around. What do they do? I think a salute? We should just be there really. Yeah. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna take off. Bye. See you later. Hey, I'm taking off. Good to see you guys. You're at the Grown Ups Barbecue, huh? You got some Swedish fish there? You know, if you go to Sweden, that's what the fish are like, the candy. You have to reach in, just that's what you eat. <laughs> hey, how's school going, good? Yeah, school's tough, man. You gotta be tough, though, you know? <laughs> no, I'm just kidding around. Is that alcohol? This is the police. You're not old enough to drink alcohol. Seriously, man. You have to wait an even longer time than that. <laughs> anyway. I go now! It's time for the computer to go away from the house. I'll see you guys later. Bye. Hey, I'm leaving, actually. I didn't get to say goodbye to you. But bye, and it's good to see you. Someone told me about a bit that you did that was so funny. You were like, mouthing hey. off to someone and didn't know what you were saying. It sounded so funny. Hey. Yes. Uh, I just was coming over here because you're taking so long saying goodbye. Oh, I was just saying goodbye to Josh. I know, but you say goodbye to everyone. You don't need to do that. Well, I just feel bad. I don't want to seem unappreciative. This is what I'm going to do. I'm going to send a text to Corn and Lance that says, hey, thanks for the barbecue. OK. Just all right. Uh, I'll see you soon. Josh, and... great to see you. Josh, All right, we're gonna, we're gonna go. But maybe I'll see you at this other thing. Our next project is very fun. Uh, this is the fruit faux hawk that we'll be creating with some cubed fruit. And I understand you have some knives. Yes, so you can just grab whatever. Okay. Well, why don't you... 
Okay. Which one do you want? Uh, the, uh, the, how about the butcher knife in the center? Okay. Well, that's not the butcher knife, but that'll do. And handle first. Handle first? Handle first. Here, here, no, here, here, no, 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 handle first. So. No, I, uh, no, 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 now you're just stabbing it. Okay. Well, hey, that's one way to skin a cat. Let's do a nice little slice, and then we'll cube them so they'll look like that. Dave? Shh. Dave, careful. Okay. okay. No, no, oh, no, 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 Dave, no, Dave, Dave, no, Dave. No. You um, grab the uh, styrofoam head, Dave, over there. We're cre No, no, that, the styrofoam. Now let's put it right here. Definitely. That is pretty punk. Well, you two are in very good shape. I have great faith in you. You're gonna have a lot of fun. I will see you at the party. And until then, <laughs> you. <laughs> you. Let's go do it, come on. Man, this deep web has everything. Guns, drugs, explosives. Oh, okay, here we go. Sam, it's not working. It's not letting me in, we need tech support. Yeah, we're behind a firewall. Go up to your menu bar. Menu bar. Check out your network preferences. Run down to cookies. Cookies. Disable. Disabled. All right, it's working. <gasps> Jim! Good reflexes. I'm just kidding. Oh, sir. OK, we're in. Want firepower that will destroy? <laughs> yeah. We are interested in your merchandise. A-S-A-P, exclamation point. He's responding. Mr. Bacone, his name is Mr. Bacone. I have everything you need. Do you like juice? I guess, yes, I do. What's your location? We are coming right now. We've got the address. Sam, 4th of July is safe. Let's go. All right, you ready to go? What? We just got here. I just want to hang out and say hi to everybody. We have a lot of barbecues to go to. Let me say bye to just a couple people down no, there. No, no, You know what we're going to do for this one? French exit. What's that? We leave without saying goodbye. I can't pull that off. People are going to think that I snubbed them. If I wait here for you to say goodbye to everyone, that's 30 more minutes. Just for me. Come on. I guess we'll just. Yeah, and then we go. I really want to wave, at least. No, no, no. Please don't wave. Let's go. Hey, you guys. Hey. Hey, how's it going? I'll be right back. Oh, you're, you're not leaving, are you? Oh, well, party's back here. Hey, hi. Hey. Hey, pretty cool. French exit. Wait, wait, wait. Hold on, hold what? on. I'm sorry. I'm shaking right now. I have to go back and say goodbye. It's a party. You drift in, you drift out. Can we go back and say goodbye? <laughs> Fred, I want to leave. And you're sitting around and like stressing out and saying goodbye to everyone in this really compulsive OCD way. It's not OCD. It's just sort of politeness. I was raised to be polite. You're actually being rude to me by being so polite to everyone else. Come inside and we'll say no, goodbye. No, I'm going to the next party, OK? I'm sorry. You really going to go? Yeah. Anyway, it was good hanging nope. out with you. And I'm nope. saying goodbye. Do not talk and... to me. Nope. Goodbye. How are you doing on veggie burgers? That's OK. It's just, it's not the easiest. Uh, damn it. You dropped one of the. I, yeah, I know. Well, guess her here. All right, I'll get to the front of the house. Hi, welcome. Here you go. Here's a little beer for you. There you go. OK, take this one, please. Hold on. Hey, I want to thank everybody for coming. And also, mm. OK, I'm taking some burger orders. Who wants a veggie burger? You guys want some veggie burgers? One order for you? OK, great. Right back. OK, got one order for one veggie burger and another order for a double veggie burger. Here. OK, so that's one and then one double? Fine. Give me the They're not stack. cooked. You just drop that one. Do this yeah, one. Yeah, I know. Great. Coming right up. All right, I'll see you. Is that a no on that? What's wrong? That's a no on the double and the cheese. They said this looks like black cheese. Why are you acting like a waiter right now? Because I'm trying to serve all these people. These are our friends. Tell them to just drink beer. Uh, everyone, just drink beer. Dave, I don't know what to do. This woman, she just left us in the lurch. I mean, look at this, Dave. This isn't food. This is just some mess. Well, calm down, OK? We've got to get through it. Let's just get through okay. the day, okay. all right? Hi, Kath and Dave. Oh, hi. <laughs> hi. This is Andy. He's your uh, guest judge for this challenge. He's a local aficionado of the shitty punk barbecue. Look forward to mowing down on your grub. I didn't know there was going to be uh, a judge. <laughs> We're going to join the party. Hi there. We're here to see Mr. Bacon. Great.
nicely done, Mr. Bacon. You're, you're quite a good player. Well, hello there. Hello there, Mr. Bacon. Can I help you with something? Uh, we're really sorry to interrupt your, your tennis match, uh, but, but thank you for agreeing to see us. Well, do you have an appointment? Are you supposed to be here? I'm sorry I didn't introduce myself properly. You might know me as Mayor 9000. We spoke online, we chatted I online. I know who you are. You want toys. Yes. There's a deep web, guys. Did you offer them something to drink? It's quite all right. No, it's not all right. Do you like gyos? I'm sorry, do you like what? Gyos. I'm not sure what that is. Well, grapefruit gyos. Or oh, I'm sorry. No, by the way, we weren't expecting any juice. Oh, well, there are things that you want, apparently. We're looking to make a big bang. Like, bam, bam, bam! Well, this is a little on the serious side, don't you think, Mr. Mayor? I mean, I don't know if you could play with toys like this. How complicated can it be? <laughs> you light a fuse, you run away. What's your target, Mr. Mayor? Downtown Portland. Oh, you're sick. <laughs> Actually, we're, we're pretty healthy. <laughs> <laughs> Do you like your juice? Oh, the, the juice is, uh, is fantastic. That's nice and sweet. It's a really good batch, don't you think? You could have offered it to him. Wow, this one is beautiful. You know, I'm, li I'm looking for one that's going to go up into the sky, and it's going to explode, and it's going to come down in just a halo of sparkles. <laughs> You're really going to do it, are you? We don't want to disappoint. Two Boy Scouts just digging into Christmas morning. I love it. I'll be your Santa Claus if you want, and I'll be every goddamn elf you want. Is this the one that puts up the smiley face? Oh, I'll have a smiley face, and so will you. OK, Dave, I think this is the one. I, I, I don't know how it tastes. I don't know if it's cooked correctly. I think it's the best one I've done. But I have no idea. Looks great. I hope so, Dave. <laughs> hey. You too. I hope this food gets here soon. I'm starting to get drunk. Look, nobody's happy. Everybody is pissed off. Hey, what you got hey, there? Man. Enjoy from the chef. Thanks. Great, it's thank terrific. you. No buns? No buns. Chaffle. Look at this. This isn't even cooked. It is burnt, but it's cold. Yeah. Look, there's a little bit of the wrapper. That reminds me of the burger my buddy Hawk makes. Yeah. Yeah, it just smells like plastic. Hmm. Look, I, I don't blame anybody for not eating this crap. I think we've made our decision then. I think we have. Shall we deliver it? Yeah. Let's do it. <sighs> Kath, Dave, Andy and I have experienced your punk barbecue. Uh, we ate the food. We drank the stale beer. We talked to all of your angry friends. And congratulations on some shitty punk barbecue. Fuck you, are you serious? Fuck you, I'm serious. Very right? Sh very shitty punk rock. Yeah. It was authentic? Very authentic. From the charred synthetic meat to the barking dog to the toddler running around with the pooey diaper. Congratulations. Burgers were cold, food was late. It's the way it is. I just want you to know, uh, we yeah. put a lot of hate into it, a mm -hmm. lot of anger into each burger. I could and... taste it with every bite. And people were milling around, they, they were angry. And they'll probably never come back to your house again. Mission accomplished. You guys. You guys. <laughs> I'll fuck you back. Fuck you. Fuck you too. Fuck everybody. You know, Mr. Bacon, we were thinking of setting our display to music, and I wondered if you had any suggestions. You know, in Sarajevo, we kind of do everything to classical music. So, you know, so uh, I'm actually leaving, taking off, so... Okay. Thank you, and bye, and uh, off to space! So she already came and went, huh? She moves fast. Hey. 
April? Carrie isn't still here, is she? It's in Carrie, have you? Are you still here? You see Carrie? You see Carrie? times where you don't say goodbye. You taught me that. I'm not a goodbye guy anymore. Our friendship is way more important than casual acquaintances I only know from parties. I'm done saying goodbye. Now on the count of three, you're coming up here, all right? Okay. One, two, three. No! Okay. We did it. Okay. We made it to all the Fourth of July parties. We did it. Yeah. Now uh, let's do a French exit. Okay. Here we go. off a punk barbecue. Yeah, that was authentic. If I had known about a music that could cater to my volume and my attitude about life, I, I would have had a whole different adulthood. Well, it's not too late. Yeah. This could be a mosh pit right here. Oh. Oh, man. Get me tuckered out. I'm tuckered out. It's tiring being a punk. Bedtime? Bedtime. Bedtime. Yeah! I love you. Good job today. I love you. Hey, Bing! <laughs> I'm uh, Mayor 9000. We we chatted over the, the deep web. We got your fireworks. You know, to be honest, they're a little more powerful than we needed, but I'm sure they're going to be perfect for you. Uh, what are you celebrating, if you don't mind my asking? all Bart Simpson copyright infringement. What the hell's that? That means they want you to stop making these t-shirts. <laughs> it's not funny, Spike, it's Matt Groening. What's Matt Groening? He's the creator of The Simpsons, and he's saying that your shirt looks like his character, Bart. I think that he looks like my character, Bart. Spike, there are laws about this. These aren't my laws. That's my law right there. Be true. Spook? No, I told Darren to like make the Y come down. And he cut it off because he said the black isn't going to show underneath. Spike's law. It's Spike's law. I'll fix it. Spike, there's a way out of this, and that's you stop making the shirts. I'm not going to stop. My body just does this. This is what I'm meant to do. I'm meant to make t-shirts. Then they're going to sue you. Great. Bring on the trial. We don't have a lawyer. I'll represent myself. Let's learn how to be a lawyer. Let's study. My client is innocent of all wrongdoings. So get off so easy. I hope so, Spike. Happy New Year. See you in court, Matt Greening. Oh, jeans are so expensive. Yeah, but they're kind of worth it. Hey, guys. Sorry, there's no food or drinks allowed in the store, so I'm going to have to ask you to throw your coffees in the garbage. Well, I'm just going to get these jeans, and we'll be right out. We don't sell jeans. We sell denim. If you want jeans, there is an Oshkosh Bagosh around the corner. Carrie, do you want to go to Oshkosh Bagosh? Oh, gosh. I, you know what? I don't. Let's um, throw out our coffees, and we'll initiate the checkout process. OK, this is very full. Ooh, this is a sharp pant. You are not allowed to wash this. You don't wash raw denim. What does raw mean? Unwashed. I kind of like to wash my jeans. There's a technique I can show you. You take a common napkin, put your index finger, and then just wipe. OK, well, what about, like, if I spill a little, like, red wine or water on it? Just wipe. You think that's going to take off a stain? If you get it in time. But if you don't? Well, then there's another thing. What you could do is fill up a bathtub with rice, put the raw denim in there for 20 minutes, pull it out, and throw it away because they are ruined. Should we just go someplace else? Here, I'll change your mind. Touch them. Just touch them. 
What's that face for? It's my I think I've made my point face. What is this? It's just, this is jeans. Here's the thing about jeans, denim. I wear them every day. So you seem like someone who's really big into fashion, huh? I've been getting into it. I love fashion. Me too. To me, that's what separates us from animals. Absolutely. Yeah? Yeah. Right? Yeah. OK. Sorry, you wouldn't know anything about this. No, educate me. I don't think I could start. It would be like trying to teach a lizard how to cover a Foo Fighters song. Why don't you just buy it so we can go? No, I should educate you on crotch blowouts. Halloween is a really big time at the dollar store. And here's our Halloween section this year. And this section is one of our most popular. It has school supplies, toys, notions, cosmetics, everything that, you know, family could need. So. All right. No, it's too much. It's a lot. My eye, when I see this, this just this is junk. I would have a really hard time just coming into the store shopping for Anything, you know? You've really got to change them, the layout and... That's we want to simplify. What we do is we're branding people. We transform shops that are going nowhere. We need an ad campaign, right? Obviously. Like a person or something. A person would be good. Who do you have in mind? Victoria Beckham. She'd be great. Wow. She would never do it. I love her, though. I love her a lot. I love the idea of a spokesperson, a model. Who's the face? Of the dollar store. Certainly not me. And certainly not me. And certainly not me. <laughs> okay, well, this is this is great. We're gonna find you a dollar store girl. We'll find you somebody. That'd be absolutely excellent. Okay, see you. So let's hear the opening remarks. Opening remarks? Yeah. OK. Your Honor, I'm innocent of all these charges of copyright infringement of duplicate imagery. Throw out the case. OK, Spike, really get the term copyright infringement down. Copy, copyright infringement. We're screwed. Copyright infringement. Copyright infringement. God damn it. Infringement. Dollar store. Dollar Who store. could it be? I don't want anybody too angular, you know what I mean? Maybe something a little more alien, a little more soft around around the cheeks. Like an angel that's got no gender. You know? What about the slave girl in the in that, Lupita in that... Nyongo. Was she a model? Tyler, How is she not a model? Her? I'd say not... absolutely, yeah. That'd be really good. Hey, can I have a dollar? Oh my god. God, she's really beautiful. She really is. Look uh, at those bones. Hey, do you have a dollar? Fantastic. Yeah, I Look like at her, her life. I know. Hey, do you have a dollar? She's literally screaming the word dollar. Do you have a dollar? Hey, is anyone have a dollar? Unbelievable. She's living the dollar lifestyle. Well, how did that? She's going to run away. Uh, how do we get a, you know? Do you have a dollar? Hey, is anyone have a dollar? Hey, look. Go get it. Has anyone ever told you that you could be a model? Uh, no. What is your name? Um, Quinn? Do you like having things around and drinking and eating? Do you need beer? It's gonna be a lot of work. Quinn? Do you have a dollar? Hey. Hey. How are you? Good. Did you order yet? What are you wearing? It's a hat. I got it a couple days ago. I've received so many compliments. You bought that? Yeah. Everywhere I go, people are like, that is such a great hat. What are hats? Why would you wear a hat? What do you to mean, what are hats? I mean, you got those jeans, and now you've got this hat. I mean, what's next? Is there some cape or some, like, football shoulders or something? I've always been, like, envious of people that can pull things off. That person's pulling off those cowboy boots. So that person's pulling off the leather jacket. I can pull stuff off. You pull that off, please. You're being so down and grumpy about this. Well, let me ask you this, then. When you're on your bicycle, do people think you're the flying nun? Don't be mad. This grumpiness you have, it's almost like a sickness. And I would suggest you get professional help. I I'm sorry. I'm like, it's hard. I'm distracted. I missed everything you said, because you've got this, like, thing. Please see someone. Please talk to someone. Sister Carrie, please. OK, I'm out. 
Good luck, friend. So how'd everyone at the convent? All right, the plaintiff is the creator of The Simpsons, Matt Groening, who's actually from Portland. Welcome. Uh, what is your claim? You're Honor. overruled. All right, you object, and I'll sustain or overrule the objection. OK, I object. Overruled. Proceed. Your Honor, this guy has been making bootleg Simpsons merchandise. Bart Scampson. He is quite a scamp. Scompson. Bart Scompson. Ska, like the music, Ska. 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 You know, Ska. I just thought it was scamp misspelled. You don't know Ska? In all your education, you've got to go to law school and everything and judge school or whatever it is you go to and you don't know the word Ska? Welcome to America, friend. Learn music. Your Honor, I do not have a problem in general with bootleg Simpsons merchandise. I approve of the Bart Sanchez and Bart Pimpson even. But this is the worst pun ever. It's a thinker. you got to think about it. As the creator of The Simpsons, this makes my eyes hurt. What's the problem? It's completely off model. Off model of from what? He has supposed to have nine spikes of hair on his head. The pupils are the wrong size. He's watching the band. His pupils are looking forward onto the stage. They're too big. They're he, too because big. he's enjoying the music. He's not used to it because he wants to go see Beethoven and classical music. Oh, the violin. This sucks. In fairness, it's not great. Your Honor. There are no damages, really. I just would like him to stop. I will never stop. Right. The case continues. Let me look right here. Right here. OK, let me ask you a few questions. Let's talk about restaurants. Would you be willing to wait for a really good restaurant a half hour, or would you just eat somewhere kind of crappy because you could get in right away? What do you think? The look on people's faces when they wait in line is like, is this, what are, are you going to eat or to stand quietly? Have you ever uttered the phrase, get off my lawn? No. OK. I mean, yeah, I've said. But I didn't mean like old man, like, get off my lawn. I meant more like, this is my property, so get off my lawn. I'm not going to sugarcoat this for you. You have early onset grumpiness. What? Early onset grumpiness, EOG. You're going to begin to enjoy fewer and fewer things in your life. You'd be saying things like, who are these people? Who are those people? That's the, I mean, it's a real question. The only reason you leave the house is to see classic old movies. And even then, you'll say, it had some good parts, but all in all, it was fairly uneven. Even. <sighs> You're very young to have EOG. Your life is going to change forever. Is there anything I can do? Normally, we try meds, but you're too young for them. You seem kind of grumpy. Are you a grump? Yeah, but I'm a very old man. I'm 83. I'm sorry. I'll notify your family. Don't no, notify my sister. She didn't even pick up the phone half the time. She gives people a hard time. Changed her number so many goddamn times. Detect that all. I'm sorry, I don't quite have the words for this. Um, Mom, Dad, I wanted to let you know that I'm a cool dresser. Cool dresser? So I just want to prepare you. If we meet for dinner, I might have gloves on. If we go to First Thursday and go to an art gallery, I might be in a jumper or a pair of overalls, culottes. No. I might wear a t-shirt with just one word on it, and it will have cost a lot of money. I also have a motorcycle jacket that I wear. A motorcycle? A motorcycle um, Are you driving a motorcycle now? No, those are dangerous. What's the point? You gotta have a motorcycle if you got a motorcycle yeah. jacket. So you would rather have me have a motorcycle because it makes more sense with the jacket. Yeah, it's good protective yeah. wear. What about that Gore-Tex jacket I got you? You bought me an extra large coat. Like, that doesn't fit me. These would be big. You gotta get over all your camping gear. I don't understand. You go out in that outfit, honey, you're not prepared for anything. I'm prepared for lunching. I'm prepared for a Prosecco at 5 p.m. Are you going to wear that hat to Thanksgiving? You're going to be representing a brand. Right, you're gonna be the dollar girl, so you gotta be ready for it. You have to interact with photographers. You have to stand in awkward positions and pose. You know, you gotta be sexy but cold at the same time. Indifferent but friendly. You know, your eyes gotta say hello, but your face has gotta say goodbye. Can you handle that? Okay. Sexier. No, not in your mouth. Look at this. Mm. Big delivered fish. Oh, don't do no, that. sit down, settle sit down. down. Do you like a face? It's exquisite. No, no, no. no. That's not my... That's close to my... Can Sorry. I get a beer, please? It used to be very raw, you know, kind of wild. You still see it, though, which is really good. It's raw, but on the way to sophistication. I have to take a shit. Oh, no, no. no, you don't. No. It's not model behavior. No. Ow! Hey, that's 
Stop it. Put it down. Oh, there's some How do they make people like that? They don't. We do. I like that. And can you make, like, one of her arms a little longer? Kind of like a, like a snake's arm? Tighten it up, maybe make the face a bit smaller. But, Ken, what do you think of that? I like that a lot. Lady too. Dollar store. Stupid kids. Hey, no loitering. Go on, beat it. I'm not gonna beat it. I mean, this is anyone's location. I could be wherever I want. This is anybody's alley. Hey, you seem like something's the matter with you. What's wrong? Well, I was just at the doctor and I got diagnosed with early onset grump. Oh. Congratulations. Congratulations? Yeah, you gotta get out there. Yeah, yeah, you gotta find things to complain about. Revel in your grumpiness. Let it wash over you. Yeah, yeah, let the world hassle you. You <laughs> mean like, get out and get in line for really long concerts. That's it. And outdoor festivals. There you go. I'm gonna judge everybody. That's right. <laughs> Well, come on, go to it. Okay, it was uh, really nice to meet you. Uh huh. Oh, it was awful meeting you. Yeah, rotten to meet you too. Now scram. All right, I'm scramming. What an income poop. I'd like to call my first witless to the stand, Mr. Matt Groaning. I said the word Simpsons a lot. Do you hear that? Simpsons. Simpsons. What is that? The Simpsons is a TV show. What does that stand for? Television. Yes. Too long to say television, so you had to shorten it. How long have you been doing this uh, television show? 26 years. 26 years, wow. We please mark down your stenographer, is that the word? That I've been working on these shirts for 28 years. Two years longer than you've been doing your TV show, brought to you by soap. That's probably not true. Probably not true. A lot of big words, huh? Is that what they teach you up there in Harvard? Yeah, that's probably not true. That possible this is a case of parallel thought? I don't think so. You do a whole lot of thinking, don't you? What about creating? Did you ever draw a smiley face? Yes. So why don't you sue everybody for making smiley faces? I didn't invent the smiley face. I invented Bart Simpson. But you didn't invent Bart Scompson, did ya? No. The jury rests. Let's all mosh. Come on, Iris. Come on, everybody. It's very embarrassing, Spike. Come on. I'm a lawyer. Wow. It's a new ad campaign for the dollar store. Huh. She looks familiar. You have a dollar, please? You don't have a dollar? Hi, uh, you have a dollar, please? Hey, you have a dollar? Hi, uh, you have a dollar. Wow, thank you very much. Hey, we've got enough dollars to get ourselves a beer. Money for beer. I've got money for beer. But what kind of use? is a dollar when my whole world got smaller by half money for beer i've got money for beer i give up all of my dollars for some familiar squalor Change this doesn't add up. Who needs anything more than a fuck? I'm okay being broke, but not broken hearted. I'm just getting drunk and acting retarded. Money, money for beer, beer, I got money, money for beer, beer but, but it doesn't, doesn't take a scholar to see I'm short a dollar. And my dollar is you. Hey, Carrie. Hey. Listen, um, I got diagnosed with early onset grumpism. 
I'm so sorry. That's all right. Gosh. I just wanted to say, I'm really sorry about all those things I said to you. That's the disease talking. Well, that makes sense. It's, it's a real thing. I accept your apology. Well, I thought to make up for it, it would be really great if we went to like a music festival. Pickathon is coming up. Oh yeah. So I thought we could go to that and like I could complain about like all the long lines and the crowds and the food and all the bands, you know? Oh, and I could buy a new outfit and maybe I'd get photographed for a fashion vlog. Yes, it's perfect. It's a great way for us to be ourselves and still stay friends. You're right. Okay, I'm gonna go get in line for tickets. All right. So why don't you stay here and finish cleaning my jeans? All right, that's a deal. Java? Oh, never mind. Hey. Who are you? Jeffrey, it's Quinn. Quinn? I, I thought I wasn't gonna see you again. Well, here I am. I really missed you, you know? I really missed you too. Are you going away again? I don't wanna go away again. I belong with you. I think you're gonna make me cry. I think you are gonna cry. Well, do you have a dollar? Yeah, I actually have $80,000. We could buy beers. Yeah, we should buy some beers. This is one of the easiest decisions I've ever had to make. The court finds in favor Wait, wait, I'm sorry. I found something that I wanted to Your Honor, I'd like to call a second witness. Proceed. Please state your full name for the court. <clears throat> Bartholomew J. Simpson. Bart Simpson. Hey, Spike. Long time no see, man. What's going on? So, were you or were you not my neighbor in the early 80s? Yes, we were neighbors. And Bart, what was your favorite kind of music? Uh, ska. And remind me, did I have a nickname for you because of ska? Yes, you did, Bart Scompson, the original rude boy. Bart Scompson, the original rude boy. Hi, Bart. Oh, hey, you went to Evergreen State, right? Building A, fifth floor. You two went to college together? Yeah, this is the guy that taught me how to ollie. Just put a star next to ollie. That's one of the words that we'll look up later. So we do appear to have a case here of parallel thinking. You invented Bart Scompson based on knowing this man. Yeah, him right there. Hi, caramba. Son. <clears throat> You invented Bart Simpson also, evidently based on knowing this man. Apparently, yes. Wait, is there a sketch artist here who can sketch me doing that? Mr. Groening, if Mr. Groening were willing to draw you. I would prefer not to. We're all looking for the truth here. If you would draw him, that would be great. I'm gonna give you an overbite. That's fine. This is awesome. This could actually be worth something. Come on, what have we got? That's pretty good. Wow, I'm jealous. I will agree to stop making these Bart Scompsons as long as I have the rights to make a whole bunch of these. The drawing was a gift from Mr. Groening. That doesn't give him the right to make more t-shirts. That's why I'm here in the first place. Um, if you would like to appeal this decision, come back to Portland. We'd be thrilled to have you in the courtroom anytime. This was a treat. This is my worst nightmare. Case dismissed. Hi, I'm Fred. And I'm Carrie. This year for National Coming Out Day, we want people to know that coming out is for everyone. everyone. There are lots of options for coming out, and we're here to help you find a sexuality that works for you. Hi, Tom here, and I'm heteroplausible. I'm not straight, but just to appease my parents, I tell them I could be, who knows? I'm Mary. I can't wait to break up with a guy I'm dating and start dating women. <laughs> I'm a homonextual. Next up, that. Hi, I'm Daniel. I'm homological. Do the math. I should be gay, but I'm not. I have too much belly fat. I'm Charlotte. I'm a homo spectacle. I'll totally kiss another woman to get the attention of men. I've met a lot of boyfriends this way. Hello, I'm Neil. I'm heterospeculative. I mean, guys, but, you know, those ladies. Hi, I'm Connie, and I want to let everyone know that I'm a hobosexual. I am really, really into hobos. Call me, I probably don't have a phone, so I'm gonna come find you. Hi, I'm Rick. I'm homotextual. A couple of same-sex, flirty text messages and dick pics never hurt anybody. And guess what? My wife's kind of cool with it. I'm homo-casual. What's the big deal? What kind of pictures are you sending to the guys? It's in the mirror. I'm Amy, and I'm me-sexual. I have one follower. Me. Oh my god. I'm Randy. I'm a hobo. Oh, I'm a homosexual, that's me. Hi, I'm Frank, I'm homosonic, and what that means is I'm a raging gay, but whenever I sing, I sound like Bruce Springsteen.
like, hey, buddy, this is a safe space. You can say whatever you want. Mm -hmm. Great. Um, hey, I'm Jake. But is there some sort of kind of, can you sort of expand on that and kind of give it a name? Am I doing something wrong? I'm it's sorry. too short, you know, homo jake -a You know, uh, jake -sexual. You are going to declare yourself a... It's a straight dude. Well... All right, hon, I'm off to work. Have a good day. Thank you. Uh, don't forget the maid's coming at 10. Oh, I was going to have a quiet day reading. I could cancel if you wanted to clean instead. No, it's all right. OK. Have a good day. All right. Sorry to bother your work. It's not really work. I'm just reading a book. I'm reading Game of Thrones. Do you know if this is dry clean? Uh, Claire's pretty particular about that shirt, so let me help you out with that. So you just, you just pull it up from the shoulders and you just do it in half so there's zero creases. You are very good at uh, folding clothes. Oh, thanks. Do you work? I don't have a job presently. In my country, my husband is in the army when he's not a job. I mean, I'm pretty good at Call of Duty, but I certainly don't get paid for that. What is your wife? She's at work. So you stay at home and read books while well, she's at work? Yep. You're like uh, very feminist, right? You know, it's like lady, very feminist. Feminist? <laughs> feminist? You said feminist? Yeah. Claire, I'm actually a feminist. How? I was feeling really bad, you know? Like, I, I don't do a whole lot. I'm kind of like a stay-at-home dad, but without a kid, so I'm like a stay-at-home guy. But I'm actually a feminist, because what's happening is I'm enabling you to be the breadwinner. By what, not having a job? I'm subverting the patriarchy. I had personally never thought of it like that. I used to think I was a wimp, but really, I'm a feminist. That's very interesting, Doug. Guess what? You like voting? I do. There was a time where women weren't allowed to vote. I know. Do you know the word Frida Kahlo? Yeah, I've heard of the artist. She was a female Picasso and probably got paid way less. OK, I'm going to go make dinner. Claire. What? You're a woman. Great. You could do anything. Do you want to help make dinner? Um, I don't know how equipped I am to do it. Um, how about I take out the garbage at the end? Did you shower today? No. Hi, welcome to Women and Women First. Feel free to look around and sit down and read whatever you want. Wow, this is... This is great. Um, I'm an actress, and I'm about to shoot this movie in town, and I'm playing, like, a really strong woman who has, like, fierce convictions and, like, a feminist. Like a feminist or a feminist? There's he, a difference. She's a feminist who's a mermaid. She's a what? She's a mermaid? What's feminist about a mermaid? Well, just the thought of it, maid. What, is she sweeping the ocean floor? Uh, Isn't there enough of that in film? I almost lost my shit during Little Mermaid. I stood up in the theater, I looked at the little kids, I said, you little bastards, you're watching water get wasted while you have your popcorn. Turn around, look at the back of the theater. This is like exactly why I'm in this bookstore. It's just this kind of dialogue, because I'm in a really, I need a lot of feminist dialogue, things feminists would say. So will you be here for the next 20 years then with us? Well, I start shooting next week, so no. All right, well, where's the script? Mermaid Springer, written by Alice Mathias. Okay, by a woman. Yep, Alice is great. Are you Bobby? No, um, I'm M Millicent. So let's change her name to Militant. Militant, interesting. Okay, so what else is happening? She does meet a guy. Who? He's a surfer? I think that this surfer should show up. Uh-huh. And she looks at him yeah. and says, you don't mean anything to me. Okay. Go back and surf, and that's all we see of him. He is bound and gagged. Do you think the audience is going to wonder why he's bound and gagged? Well, that's a good note. Let's do that as a studio note. So you'll need something in dialogue to set that up in an earlier scene. What's this about her dad? So my dad, who's Poseidon, he tries to take me back into the sea and tell me my time on land is over. So she, like, ties him up and she's like, I will do it on my terms and my time. Whenever you say something like I, my yeah. terms, you need a long silence afterwards. OK. My terms! OK. Ten. And someone says, like, but... My terms! And then another one. That should be a 30-minute scene. 
This is gonna be, this is gonna be so much better. I feel like I've grown as a woman and as an actor. You're gonna do great. And you tell that director who's boss. You are. We'd offer you some food or something to drink, but we don't have anything. I know it's been so long since we've had a girls weekend. I just, I've been so tired this week, I don't feel like driving. Just do a ride share. Oh yeah, that's interesting. Portland, Seattle, who's this guy? Um... Aspenies, more than appreciated, sweet tunes, good vibes. I mean, it could be an adventure. Take me on a great adventure. Take me away. Sandra? Yeah, hi. You doing a ride share? How you doing? I'm Joey. Nice to meet you. Very nice to meet you. You going to Seattle today? I am. You got any more luggage in this? No, I'm, I'm all ready to go. A right, couple rules of the car. I like windows up. The AC at like 71 degrees. I like the seat kind of in the middle. You don't want to get in the way of the mirror. What are you drinking? As a rule, you know, you can't have no like coffee and like soda and all that, you it's know. Just water. If you got rules, I'm gonna follow them too. Now, do you have any rules for being a passenger? Um, don't assault me. <laughs> You'd be surprised, you know. Rock, you know, 60s rock. Just I, I'm fine with you just picking whatever. Switch it on my steering wheel here. Turn up the volume really loud. You hear that? These ladies in Siberia, they you know they, they could do multi-tones with their voices. That's what that is. Their one tone goes, uh, uh, uh. Would it be okay if we stop soon to go to the bathroom? All right, let me try to find a good uh, rest stop. I don't want to do like a uh, regular gas station. Yeah, maybe something in the next 10 minutes. Definitely got to pee. I'm very methodical in my thinking. Are you going to pull over soon? You know, you like frozen yogurt? I, I have to pee. Sandra, I too have to pee. All right, so what do you think, like 10 minutes? I don't even need that. I'll, I'll be back here in two minutes. 10 minutes? Two minutes! That's wrong. locked. Okay. You're back already? Yeah, I just had to pee. Oh, I missed my turn. I was busy with the locks. If, if you need to run to the bathroom. No, no, now I gotta go. You know, the mistake I made, Sandra, is I didn't pee before I picked you up. But instead, you know, here I am. The bathroom's right there. My body's telling me, please walk this direction. Will you please just go? I'm not gonna go. Okay, well then let's And get... even the time I was, I've been talking, I could have peed. You know, and then, uh, Oh, oh, maybe chivalrous. Now, Claire is the main breadwinner in the household. Now, me, I sit around the house. I'm not doing anything. I'm not bringing in the money. I get some birthday money here and there. I buy some of my own stuff. That's the extent of it. You better believe that's not a lot. And Claire is a Doug? hard worker. Claire. Why are you talking to my boss? I'm getting us a raise. Hi, Greg. And look, look what I had made today. I picked it up. Well-behaved women rarely make history. Why did you get that shirt made? I had like a hundred of them made. Doug, will you please leave? You want me to go home? Yes, go home, get in bed. Should I stop and get those chocolate chip cookies? Okay, bye, Doug. Bye. Nice to meet you, sir. Hup, two! Do you want to, do you want to have sex? Whoa, wait a second, wait a second. Do you feel safe? Yeah, can I just take your pants off? No, wait, wait, wait. Try to get flaccid. What are you talking about? I want to get a good soft on. Oh, Doug. I'm doing a protest for feminism, for you. Are those my bras? Yeah, you don't need those anymore. Yeah, I do, and they're like $50 each. Yeah, we have to like sacrifice something to make a stand. Okay, listen, I know this is coming from a good place. Like, I know you care about me, I know you want to participate in the female experience, but this sucks for me. All I want is for you to treat women like equals, not burn my possessions. So. Get out of the house, go hang out with some other guys, or anybody, but get out of the house because I'm gonna kill you. Okay, well, if you wanted to murder me, that would be your choice, so I'd understand. Hi, everybody, I'm Doug. This is my first time doing a male feminist meeting. Hi, Doug. Hey, Doug. Nice to meet you. So, um, I guess I'll just start off talking about what kind of a feminist I am. I've never hired a geisha. Excellent. I've been, I've been saying to ladies on the street, are you a doctor? Yeah. Hi, I'm sorry, you're a doctor? Just, just yeah. to just so that there's not a feeling of it like only men can be doctors. When I watch TV, I'm never like, oh, man, look at that lady, man. 
well, she's a blonde, she's a brunette, she's a redhead. Well, what the hell does it matter what the color of their hair is? Yeah, I don't even see hair color. Exactly. I don't even see hair. Like, I just see bald women. Cool. Yeah. I used to be the worst of the worst. I would, uh, would look at women like, you know, I would uh, say hubba hubba. But then I met a, uh, met a girl and she was a feminist. Next thing you know, uh, I, I'm, a, I'm a feminist. Thanks a lot to say that. It's a great story. It's so loud. I just wish there was a way that we could be like validated for being such great feminists. Yes. So we have to be showy about it. We can't just be quiet. We have to be showy. We have to brag about being male feminists. For lack of a better word, it's bragging. Someday they're gonna write an article about us. And there's gonna be like black and white photos of us like. We're pretty powerful dudes, but we can gain more. We could do a lot more. And you have got to pay more attention, buddy. You. I'm just worried that you're just part of the problem. Our job, guys, fellas, people, is to solve feminism. To solving feminism. Solving feminism. Solving feminism. We can do it, guys. <laughs>
Yeah. But I know you gotta go meet your friends, Hi. Right? Hi. Welcome to Athena's. Can I get you guys something to drink? Yeah, I'll have a water and a, a lemonade, please. So what does she have? She's having a water and a lemonade. What's, what's lemonade? You've never had lemonade before? Oh, lemonade. All right, yeah. I will have... What did she order? A water and a lemonade. Where are you seeing that? Drinks are on the back. Right there on the back. We have the same menu. See, they're right Where right are you there. pointing? Um, up, upper left. Lemonade. There's lem She's lemonade. Right. milk. It's right here. She's getting a water and a lemonade. Are you suggesting that's what I you get? You can get whatever you'd like. She has two waters. Oh, I'll have one of her water. No, you're not having two waters. I had a water and I had a lemonade. I can just bring two waters. Well, I don't want water to be my drink. Right. So I'll have... I'm sorry, what did she have? Water and a lemonade. So how many waters is it then? Uh, one water. Oh, I'll have a water too. Okay. And I'll have a lemonade. You want one? Get her one too. And so I'm gonna get two lemonades and two waters. And did you know what you wanted to eat yet? Tell me about your baked potato. It's baked and it's sour cream. Who bakes it? Is it baked on purpose? Yes. Will you put this What's in my eye? Cheese sticks. <laughs> I wish that they'd have like a darker bread. And I'm not gonna say it. Let's I, get I the bill. They did a good job. I liked it a lot. There, there you, you go. go. I insist. I'll get it. I get. I'll get it. I just it. had a lemonade. So we got two lemonades. We had waters. You know that, right? Yes. Free of charge. Yeah, that's right. And free. then uh, you didn't charge me for the butter, right? No. That's really nice of you. The Wizard of Oz. What the hell was going on in that movie? Who were the main characters of Wizard of Oz? I'll go first. Tin Man, the Lion, Scarecrow, and Dorothy. Okay. Did I get it? Yeah. <laughs> Makes me a movie buff. Who is that? We already ordered the pizza. It's time to come home. Mermaid Spring is over. We need you back down to the sea to do work. I'm not going anywhere with you. I'm not your property, Dad. I'm my own person. No, it's it. We have a duty. We've got to be under watcher. I will go and come where I want to, when I want to, as I see fit, on my terms. I thought this was an R-rated movie. Yeah. <laughs> The shells match the drapes. Did you hear that? I think that was a sexual thing. Take the tail off. I want to see the tail. What a misogynist pig. I'm going to get up and say something. I think you should. I think we should. Okay. Excuse me, you can't talk like that. Like what? That woman up there, okay, that is a person. You cannot treat her as a sex object. I have the right to talk. If I see something that I like, I say it. I like that. I want that. You think respecting women means, like, standing up for them on their behalf? No, it means worshipping them. And I'm worshipping that woman up there. What are you guys laughing at? You think that's right? You should not be able to differentiate between the two genders. Dude, why don't you just sit down? Who are you calling dude? I am not a dude. I'm a feminist. <laughs> feminist, you're a wimp. Not everything has to be tough. <laughs> Pass me that football. I'm gonna eat it. Dude, you're embarrassing yourself. Well-behaved women rarely make history. Shh. You know what she stands for? She. She has the right to be in that movie. You're the only one commenting at this point. Please sit down. No. Nope. We're taking back the movie theater. Uh, you want me to shut this guy up? Yes. I'm gonna kick your ass, bro. Claire, guess what happened? I got into a fight. I'm fine, but I, I think... We solved feminism. Yeah, once and for all. It was just like a, a total melee, like on the news. Uh, I'm ready to be picked up now. Hi, welcome to Tiny Town. Micro village. Little place. And that's a tiny micro house. Yeah, it's very, very efficient. Everything is thought out. No waste of space anywhere. This is a bathroom and a home office. Can you hand me the uh, shower gel, please? Yes, coming up. Yeah. Thank you. How's your novel coming along? Really great. I'm on page one and a half. See this kitty litter box? Out of sight. We have a library. Oh, hi. How's that book? It's great. I just, you know, wanted a little alone time. I'm just hanging out watching TV. I'm just taking a bath. Oh, I'm ready to wash my hair. Uh, I can't see the TV now. Can what? I, can I shut it off? I can't see the TV. Sure. Kendall. Hey. I forgot the code to the door. 
Can you just come down and let me in? I'm upstairs. Every little closet, every little space, every little cubby hole. Micro living. Thanks for making the bed. That was very nice. So what did you want, cream? Yeah. OK. You're always breathing down the back of my neck. It's like I can feel your hot breath on me all the time. Mmm. Some French toast. There you go. Bon appétit. So, so. OK. Move into a micro house. In a micro community. Come on, move in. It'll take you five minutes. Oh, micro house, babe. I've always wanted to do that. We could live like that. We're free spirits. Who cares? Yes. I'm down with Love it. Love you. All right. We're coming. <laughs> <laughs> Look at the workmanship. Oh, damn. That looks so good. Look at this. This is perfection. This is a kitchen. How can we How can we keep fixing it? We've done the bathroom. Our bedroom. Hallways. Backyard. Windows. Wainscoting. And now, now what? I have an idea. We get a fixed upper. You mean like another property? Yeah. That's falling apart. Dave, we need activities. We need projects. You're a genius. That's exactly it. Let's get on Zillow. Hey, oh, too nice, too nope, nice, too, too nice. nice. I want something that makes me scared when I look at it. <gasps> What's that? That's the one. It says fixer up or right on it. It's inexcusable that that outfit exists. I think if you wear overalls, you should be a train conductor or under three. Totally. Did you order something? No. Oh, it's melt. I always forget you have a key. Hey. Hi. Hi. How are you? Good. How are you, Mel? It's good. <laughs> nice to see you, Fred. You got the rent check, right? Of course. Do yeah. we need anything fixed or anything? Are you dropping stuff off in your storage space, or? Um, Milton. What's going on? Milton? My girlfriend kicked me out of the house. Juana? Oh, that, I'm so sorry. I couldn't believe it. She just said, just get out, Milton. You, you idiot. Oh. That's her own pain. I don't really have a lot of options now, and I, I just, um, I'm gonna stay here for a while. You're gonna stay here? Yeah, you know, I grew up in this house, and when my mother died, she bequeathed me this home, and now I just need your support right now. During this difficult time, I hate to bring up something as crass as tenants' rights, but, I mean, um, are, you, are you, are you, do you wanna ask us if oh, you can stay here? I, I thought you saw me more as a friend than as a landlord, but if I'm wrong, it's no, okay. I, I just didn't know. I just thought we were. That's right. all right. It's yeah, all right. it's 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 blurry. <laughs> this stuff. Is it doesn't blurry. matter. It's that's fine. Milton, he's he's going through a rough time. Okay. One night, Milton. What if you just stayed for one or two nights? You'll get back on your feet again, and I'm... can you help me with the other stuff in the car? Thanks. Ooh, yeah, pound it in, baby. That's it. Think anybody's gonna come? Yeah. Yeah? Sure, honey. Yeah, somebody's gonna show up. Mm -hmm. I am hungry, though. Yeah. Oh, here comes somebody. Here comes somebody. Hello. Hello. Hi. Hi. Come on in. Welcome home. Hi. There's a little one sheet with all the details about the house. Take yeah. a look. Take, Take a look. Take a look around. Come on. Arcasa Sukasa. Huh? <laughs> oh, damn. You think I can put an indoor pool in here? Uh, maybe, maybe in the basement? Sure. Mm. How many men will it hold? Oh, the you basement? You mean, mean people? Mm -hmm. Men, I'm looking for how many men can go in there. Oh, men. 16. 16, 17, 17. men. And you think I can do an Airbnb here? I don't know why not. Sure. What is an Airbnb? Oh, it's like one of those yeah. rental things where rental like, thing, people, people come from out of town and then they stay and then in your rent. house. It's like they use your house as a hotel. Damn, that's a good idea, you know? <laughs> it is, yeah. yeah. So how long have you been looking for a place to buy? Oh, I'm not looking for a place to buy. I have a beautiful home that I'm perfectly satisfied with. I'm just a looky-loo. Oh. I just go around looking at, at places to see what they look like. Oh. That's why I'm called a looky-loo. Well, we've never met a looky-loo before. I'm the best looky-loo in this neighborhood. I'm the best you're going to find. Uh, Welcome. Great. OK. Is that a walk-in pantry? Yeah, yeah, actually, yeah. it is. You mind if yeah. I take a look? No, oh, go right there. ahead. <sighs> Lucky Lou. I don't know, babe. I think we're going to have to get a real estate agent. 
Okay, it should be right up here. <gasps> this is it. Dave, this is it. Uh-huh. Uh-huh, yeah, 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 yeah. I want to redo the foundation. Uh -huh. New beams. I like that. I'd like to push up at least one story. I'm with you on that. Wrecking ball. Ah. Right through the center. Uh-huh. Oh, hi there. Hi, are you the owner? I, I'm Kath. I'm Dave, how are you? Beautiful property. No nice bones on this thing. Yeah, um. Huh. Um, I wonder if the house is not even for sale. Well, that says for sale. Uh, let's go up there. I... Check it out. Yeah. Oh, jeez. Uh, I guess we're gonna need two dumpsters. There's people in here. You know, you guys are flippers? You guys are flipping things around? I, you know, I didn't realize there were so many people interested in fixer-uppers. You say you're looking for some uppers? You looking for a fix? Uh, actually, we're looking to buy. Oh, right on. What are you looking to buy? I got coke, crack, I got some dope, some Zoloft. Maybe you're looking for Molly, huh? Oh, is that the owner? Owner? Are you a cop? Uh, no. But, uh, you know what? I would like to buy two ounces of meth. And, um, uh, I'll have a box of peyote. And a can of crack. Yeah, we can hook you up. Let me see if I can find some money here somewhere. Do we, should we go to a, a cash machine? Yeah, find yeah. something. Hey, oh, River! Excuse me, what the... We didn't wake you up. Did Lana call? Did Lana call your cell phone? I have no idea. Sorry, we're in your bedroom. <laughs> How was your date last night? And well, it wasn't so much a date as it was a disaster. Oh, no. Much, much better. What happened? I, could tell, I think she was embarrassed to be with me. No, come on. I think she, yeah, she was like looking at other guys, and then she'd look at me, and she'd go, you know, like I just go out on another date, find someone else, you know? It's been a while since I put myself out there. Mm -hmm. The whole landscape has changed. I gotta do some work on myself. I mean, I know that now. I'm gonna get some veneers, right? And I'm thinking of doing like a little plastic surgery, like if I just did. Don't do that, that looks strange. If you are having problems, go to therapy. Yeah, go to a gym, talk to some friends. Yeah, There's you're right. Spiritual roads to go down. Breakups are hard, Milton. So All that is expensive. Mm -hmm. So I'm gonna have to, yeah. Raise the rent. What? By how much? TBD. You can't just raise the rent without giving us notice. This is the notice. It doesn't work that way, where we have to finance everything that you need in your life. Do you have any pancakes? No, we made eggs. Fine, I'll make my own pancakes. Okay. There's no pancake mix. Jeez. I'm sorry to say this. I think we should move. I can't live like this. He has no plans of leaving, and it's stressing me out. I kind of think we should look into buying a house. Carrie, absolutely. We could go in on the down payment together. How awesome would that be if we just like bought a house? Homeowners, together. Okay, I'm gonna take a moment just to hear your house. Uh, yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Well, that's just a playroom in there. Oh, it's your playroom? Okay. We awesome. play. Yeah, we like to play. Hmm. Intriguing. Watch out, he bite. <laughs> uh -huh. Just kidding. Just kidding. <laughs> Ooh, that trunk is not bad, actually. That should go downstairs in the front hallway. What, what, is, um, what is in it? Ah, uh, that's our butt plug collection. All right. This is the sanctuary. Right, okay. Um, well, this all has to go. All of it? If you are serious about selling your house, you are going to need a staging company. What's that? Oh, well, they replace all of your things with um, the illusion of um, an ideal lifestyle. Do you agree? Um, that is such a generous offer, but I am fine, thank you. I'd love to see you with my husband. Well, all of it has to go. This is very simply, I'm a writer, but I don't use a computer. Well, you want something that says, I like rock. So I've placed some random piles of weather wood up here. Mm. Yeah, just little piles of wood for no reason. 
It's always nice to have a little mixology bar in the corner of the room. We go some nice local liquors. And this vodka is handmade in an airplane hangar. Antlers, antlers, antlers. I can't say it enough. Antlers say, where are we? A hunting lodge? I don't want it in the corner. I want it front and center. Ready? One, two, three. Ready? Let's see it from down here. Ready? From the bottom. One, two, three. Ready? One, two, three. Okay, so that back there. Ta-da! All right, let's get it out there, okay? Gorgeous. Hey, Dave? Yeah? Check this out. Ooh. This could be your house, Dave. Definitely. This looks great. OK, I found one. Four bedroom, two bath. I'm going to send you this one. Ooh, nice pictures. Right? Let's go to this open house. That is a beautiful house. Yeah, we should check this out. Who the hell are all these people? We're looking at this house. Serious inquiries only is what we heard. Plenty of other neighborhoods in town, people. This is about raising the value of the neighborhood. If you're not here to do that, get out. What is she so happy about? Wow, you got a piece of paper with a picture on it. Celebrate. That lady, she's a flipper. She doesn't have any emotional connection to this house. Look at her. Let's go. Let's go. Come in through. No, wait, wait. There's a line here. Not there's... for us. I mean, it's such a popular house. Yeah, I guess so. I mean, do we want that? Do we want to be in this, like, popular, up-and-coming place? Like, I don't know. It's a nice house, you have to admit. It's a really nice house. And we can have it. Imagine we had a house. I mean, this is our chance to, like, really change our lives. This is, like, a big step. Dave, I want this house. I want it. On well, this banister, on these me. stairs. Give me, give me. You know, I suppose you could turn that pantry into a guest room. You'd have to get very small furniture. I love it. It's perfect. Look, it's the flipper. Is there anything I can do to have an advantage over the other potential buyers? Uh, because it's you. I'll tell you a little secret, okay? A nice handwritten letter to the sellers is a great advantage because this house means everything to them. So Wait, did you hear what she said? Shh. We have to do that. Now! Yes. Let me show you. What about the whole thing? Hey, where are you? Should we? A handwritten letter. We have to decide. Do we want to go for this? Yes, we should go for it. It's a nice house. Okay, let's go. Okay, let's write a letter. We have recently have recently, I'm getting ink all over my palm, your... Dave, I can't read what you're writing. It seems clear to me. I like the flowers on the outside. Let me take what you've written and do it here. All right. A capital D is... Um, do you not know how to write? This is a letter. It has to be perfect. If I was typing it, I could hit erase. There's erasers right there. Fine. You know what? Let's bring in someone that can help us write. You go... Down, okay. loop, go around and loop. Something right there. All right, that's an eight. Why are you starting your letter with an eight? That looks like an eight, does it not? Where? No. Listen, Matthew, what if you write the letter and I dictate it to you? That'd be very dishonest. But it will be our ideas. <coughs> you know what? In the classroom, I think I'm a daydreamer. What is wrong with you? These are letters that were submitted by potential buyers. They are invaluable tools to inform your decision. Now, you start with those, and if you need to see more, the rest will be on my desk. Enjoy. Will do. Thanks, Glennis. You're very welcome. Oh. I promise you, we will turn this house into a glorious wonderland for a huge extended family enjoying perfect languid holidays together? God, that's a bit much. Languid is a heavy-handed word. Here's one, babe. We are a rich family in Russia. Have not seen house, but buy house now, yes. Me buy house now? <laughs> <laughs> Look, I am simply submitting a photo of myself. Well, where's the picture? There's no photo. I just want to know if he's hot or not. <laughs> That's enough. This That's begging. enough. This is not a laughing matter. This is serious. Now, please just choose a letter. Thank you. I guess it's time for the old spinner room. The what? The spinner room. Spinner room. That's how yeah. we make all of our big decisions. Terrific. Let's, okay. I can't wait. All right, baby, I got it. Mm -hmm. Give me a high five. Boom, got spread it. these I'm out. I'm spreading them out. Spinner room. Uh, oh. 
You okay, babe? I'm putting a stop to this, all I'm right? I'm okay. I'm going to choose the letter. Oh, I see the winners. Hello? Hi, it's Gwyneth. I have wonderful news. The owners responded to your letter, and the house is yours. Congratulations. Thank you so much. Uh, uh, we are really excited. Can I hear very welcome. Now, as we go through the appropriate steps with your bank and your lending company, everything will be in escrow. Right, escrow. So escrow. Okay, so it's an escrow. Okay. Nice talking to you. Congratulations again. Thank you. Um, what is escrow? What do you mean? I thought you knew, and that's why you weren't listening. No. I mean, I've heard the word a lot, but I, I don't really know what it is. So, you're going into escrow. Congratulations. But what exactly is escrow? To explain that, we'll have to go back to the beginning of time. We all know the ancient Egyptian gods Thoth, god of time, and Kensu, the moon god. But they had a forgotten brother by the name of Iskro, the Egyptian god of waiting 30 days, who could be identified by his many shoes. So escrow was a, was a god? Meanwhile, across the pond, the escrow Indians of South America believed that human life was nothing more than a period of escrow in a celestial transaction between the creators. This is me tired. What's this? A crow? I'm the escrow. Great oh, I see. Well, I guess this could make it easier to understand. Dante wrote of escrow in the Inferno. I don't need to know the history of escrow when I don't know the history of the U.S. Wait, I just missed that whole thing. This egg is an escrow, though no one can explain precisely why. It's making me, um... Very stressed. There's gotta be like a simple version of this. What? what? It doesn't make any sense. But are we even seeing this right? We should never have done this. What's happening? What is this? Fred, let's just not do it. Let's not get the house. I, I don't want a house. I don't want anything. Oh no, how can we get out of this? <laughs> oh. <laughs> hey, Fred. Hey, Carrie. Whoa. Wow. <laughs> oh, right. Did you get a tan? What happened is I met a wonderful woman named Renee. She's a dental surgeon, kind of amateur, but um, she's working on my teeth. They're right. almost straight. It's getting there. Contact lenses, so now my eyes are blue. Weren't they blue before? Yeah, they were. But I guess they're even bluer now. I don't know. You seem great. You're dressing great. Yeah, look, I mean, I have a whole makeover. Renee says I'm her fixer-upper. She says she's going to flip me. Wow. I'm gonna move in with her. That's great. So you guys don't have to move. Wait, really? I'm serious. Milton, I can't tell you what great news this is. I love you. Well, those are the plugs talking. <laughs> but I, I, I love you too, Milton, sorry. That means a lot to me. It means a lot to us too. Thanks yeah. a lot, Milton. I'm gonna make some chamomile tea. Would you like some? I'm okay right now. I'll make it. You know what? Sure. That's <laughs> cool. All right. I'm just joking. Well, What's the table there? Yeah. yeah. Wow. Kind of a relief. Yeah. And this is Glynis. Hi, Glynis. How are you? This is Fred. Uh, I'm here with Carrie, so it's Fred and Carrie. Hey, Glynis. Um, how can I help you? Unfortunately, uh, due to circumstances that are Carrie, we're gonna uh, I... unfortunately have to cancel. Why are you throwing me under the bus? You are backing out. Carrie just got cold feet, and she, uh, and it was a literal thing. She just had cold feet near the front entrance. We need to find a warmer house. What's the matter, Glynis? Spin a room. Your turn, babe. <laughs> really? That's great. Yes, I really appreciate the call. Yes, you have a great day, too. Breaking in. Come to Papa. <gasps> I'd like to thank Paul Simon for coming here and discussing his autobiography. 
and now um, I'd like to open up the floor to questions. Okay. Um, yes, the lady in the middle. First of all, um, I'm a huge fan. Oh, I got a lot to say. I am really gonna make an impression on Paul Simon. He'll say, good question. I've been waiting my whole life for someone to ask that. That is an intelligent person, and that is who my real fan should be, not all these other people. Did you have a question? Uh, no. 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 Okay, thank you. What was your inspiration for... Um, they need to wait uh, for the mic. I'm sorry, we can't hear you. Can't hear you. Sorry, you're gonna need to wait for the microphone? Hi. Hi. My husband, Dave, and I, my name's Kath. Um, we are your ideal fans. We know your entire discography. Thank you. Did you have a question? We had, we had heard a, a, I had heard a folk singer, and his mu vocalizations didn't have the discerning quality of, of tonality that uh, I, I think you and I seem like we're the same type of mu musically trained judges of how people sing. Uh, do you find your discerning ear to criticize or at least assess that type of vocalizations? Well, uh, Or is that just us? Okay, well, well, th well, thank you very much. It might be time for us to move, move on to some other, uh, other questioners. The old Gaelic Irish singers. I'm sorry? What on earth are they saying? That accent is so thick. Well, is it me or is it, I mean, you well, must feel the same, you have to feel the same way. Well, just for the sake of expediency, I'm going to agree, but I do, I do have to catch a plane and this gentleman over we here. We want to thank everyone for coming and that concludes our question. Thank you very much. And we could hear you, the little whispering. Believe me, the sound carries here, so we heard you. Good morning. Great. We just got invited to a karaoke party. Oh, nice. No, this sucks. I don't want to go to a karaoke party. I don't want to butcher some song. What do you mean? You got a beautiful voice. Dave, a karaoke party is an unspoken competition. You don't go there as an amateur vocalist and sing a professional song. Well, how long do we have? We have a week. That stresses me out. Dave, we can do it. I don't know. We're going to attack this, Dave. I mean, I want people to hear it and just think that our version is better than the original version. I know, I want them to think when they go home, like, you know what, I wonder if Kath and Dave have a CD out where they're singing Hey Jude, or they're singing a song by... Creedence Clearwater Revival. Yes. What if we get a vocal coach? We get professional singing lessons. Vocal coach? Maybe we do something choreographed. Yes. Think about this voice after lessons. I love that voice. I know. It's gonna be like angels singing. I mean, it's basically gonna be a birthday party for our song. Let's look up vocal coaches, I guess. Okay. Ready or not, here we come. So my sister has this setup that I think is really cool. It's just like all of my music in one central place, but I can play it in different rooms and kind of control my TV in the same way. Well, that's exactly what we do. Perfect. So yeah, we could put in speakers up there, down here, every room in the house. You're gonna want a subwoofer under the television. Oh, new plaster up in that corner there. What do you got? A screen back there? Yeah. You might want to take that out because it's catching all the treble. Oh, 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 oh. What we're realizing is we probably need to put a subfloor down and some baffling up. What's baffling? It deadens the sound. You don't want things to be too tinny. Otherwise, it just sounds like a Chinese kitchen. What does that sound like? <laughs> So it's a constant cacophony. Okay, how long So is when you this... listen to the Beatles, it sounds like the Chinese Beatles, you know what I'm saying? That sounds really racist to me. We use this in the industry all the time. It has nothing to do with, with what nation they're from. I don't use it in the industry, but it's true that he does. How are you on volume? Is this volume loud? Yeah, that's loud. Is this more quiet? Yeah, of course that's more quiet. You're talking more quietly. All right, well, we're gonna get to installing. Okay, great. Everybody get ready, it's time to play. Why are you stapling my table? That's just temporary. But don't staple it. I don't want this on here. So sorry. 
Nothing. So this is device one. Okay. All your rooms are set up. We've got your kitchen. We've got your bedroom. We've got the hallways. We've got speakers everywhere. Why don't we turn on some music in the kitchen? Okay. Kitchen. Um, okay. Why don't we do the kitchen then? Why don't we call it the? Damn it. Device one. I need. I'm not getting any sound from the kitchen. Um, I don't know if we hooked up the HDMI cable. Do we have one in the car? Do you own a HDMI cable? I don't even know what that is. That's the cable you want. HDMI. Okay. Is that your address? Yeah. Great. And when it comes... You're gonna just want to attach it back here. Connect those two, you're gonna be all ready to go. How exciting that you're gonna have something that works in a couple days. Yeah, mm -hmm. can't wait. Yeah. All right. See you later. Bye. Bye. Oh. oh, sorry. Creative Jungle Digital Playground presents Virtual Classroom. Very simple, it makes a lot of sense. You don't have to be a dummy to do this. It goes right here. So all of a sudden, you've got your regular consumer sound, and all of a sudden, it's much better and clearer, and you've got all the deep bass sounds and all the treble, and you can hear all the pronunciation of everything. Don't worry about this. This hangs, you're fine. But be careful with it. The microphone, it's not a toy, it's not karaoke. It's professional. Create the Jungle Virtual Classroom. What are you um, looking to get out of a voice lesson? What are our, our goals with this lesson? Dave and I were invited to a karaoke party. I never did a karaoke uh, party before? No. no. Of course, because we're not professional. And there's going to be an audience there, so well, we want to we... give a good performance. Dave and I don't have a good time unless we're doing something right. Let's see if we can hit a pitch. How are you on, on, on pitches? Mm, Bob? Bob? You? <sighs> it's so hard. I'm so sorry. <laughs> well, I'm very sorry. I just uh, need a minute. OK. Bob? This is very stressful for me. Well, I'm so out of my element. What's wrong? Time out for a minute because this is very stressful because you know all the musical lingo. This is new to me. It, you're, do, you're, you're doing it. This is just stressful Believe because I, I, I don't even know where to start and we got this thing in a week. I'm doing my very best. Uh, you're, you're doing fine. Don't cry. Are you going to cry? I'm not going to cry. It's just that yeah. you're used to this. This is brand new to me. That's perfect. I'm That's not exactly. Ba. Oh. Ba. Oh. Ba. Oh. Ba. Ba. I like that. We want all those sounds. Uh, oh, there's nothing wrong with that. I like what you're Dave, doing. you're doing good. I like what you're doing. Uh, wow. Uh, wow. Yeah, 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 yeah. Do you have a certificate? She's almost graduating. You're, there's no certificate that uh, we're ever gonna, gonna She's get. jumped ahead of me in class and I'm left behind like a- You're not in competition with each other. There's no ahead. I think we're doing very well. Enjoy your breathing for a moment. Let's not talk. Let's just breathe. song that you uh, want to work on and have you and wh what is it oh ah. you can call me al by paul simon now, what about the music or the uh, it makes you want to do it i think the audience will give us a standing ovation i think we're gonna win if you be my bodyguard i can be a long lost pal you know i like this little hook bone digger bone digger bing bong bone digger bone digger bone digger I can call you Betty. Betty, when you call me, you can call me. Fantastic. I like that. It's really... Now, that choked me up. I didn't just... Beautiful, honey. I loved it. Do you have a certificate that says that... You want a certificate? I'll give you a certificate. Thank you. Oh, this must be the cable. Sorry, we missed you. Item is at post office. <laughs> Excuse me, uh, is this the line for packages? Uh, I don't know. Just go get a form, bring it back. 
and I'll help you with it. And then you'll have to fill out all of that, okay? Oh, hi. I uh, wanted to get this package. We're not open for that yet. If there's any way you could just go back there, I would just I'd appreciate it. I'm locked out. I'm sorry. OK. Um, well, okay. if you're just dropping off, I can help you around the corner. Excuse me. Hi. 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 So um, I just wanted to get this package. Is there somebody who works here who's back there to Let's go to the line? Okay. Oh, yeah. I'm close, honey. Oh, okay. Do you have uh, special envelopes? Elsa. Yeah. Are you kidding me. Did I tell you Kurt showed up last night? My house. What's taking so long? How many, how many days does the passport take? I'm just gonna start filling it out. So do I just fill this out here, or? Cable guy's coming today, can you let him in? But this is my work area, I'm working from home. So if he knocks on the door, you may or may not let him in. Can you come back home for the time that he are comes you... here and let I'm him in? I'm not gonna leave my job and come home. You you are here, you work. But I can't leave my job and, and go up to the door. I'm sorry, but I gotta go. Thank you for letting him in. The day of the worker who works from home is here. We need to unionize. We have the right to work at home in peace without interruptions. Yes. Here, here. Having a work meeting, go away. First on the agenda. Yes. Uh, I'm here to install a cable for Barbara Norris. Unbelievable. Where, uh, you know what cable box is? The living room. I'm working, so. Now we gotta talk about hours. I'm thinking 11 to 4. What are you thinking? 3.30? I like to get in, I know it sounds crazy, but a five hour work day. 11 to 4, show of hands. Did you want Cinemax? I don't know. What did my wife say? She didn't specify. Yes, please. Just leave us in peace. Okay. I appreciate it. If anyone crosses our path, we've got a strike. I agree. We don't work if we're interrupted. I need a longer coax cable. He needed a what? A coaxial cable. It's the kind, it's like a. I black know cable. exactly what it is. We've got to be strong. We set these parameters. I got it. I got it. Are we done with that? We're being attacked by a populace that doesn't understand that what we're doing is legitimate work. And you've got to delineate what that looks like, what a work time looks um, like and what... Hey, I, got, I got to use the restroom. The, use the kitchen one, which is back there. All right, thank, thank you. What if I was a surgeon working with my hands with a patient? They just don't get it. My home is my office. To interrupt is lawless. My home is my office. To interrupt is lawless. My home is my office. To interrupt is lawless.
emailing these idiots. on really quick customer service. Oh, can you do anything? What's the original remote for this? Oh! Why would you change the settings on the remote? I didn't change anything. Who bolted this? I, I don't know. This was supposed to simplify everything and it's made it much more complicated. Why are watching TV so late? Well, can you just turn it off? Okay, let's go to the mainframe. All right, let's go. Okay, we got this, okay. All right. All right, input one. Hold on, hold on. Slow down. Line two. Did you disconnect something? No, Did you disconnect something? Can you stop yelling in my ear, please? What is that? Answer the door, Jesus. Okay, uh, exit. Exit. Oh my god. He left this at the post office. Off. Off. Look, I just want the same music system as my sister, and look. That doesn't do anything. You need this. Oh, your sister has a shoe speaker? Hold on. Metro area need blood workers. Or was it? And off. Oh, okay. You know, I think I might need you guys to be here, like, 24-7. Good morning. Good morning. How'd you sleep? Pretty good. Want some morning music? Yeah, that'd be great. Sure, something soft, maybe. Great. <sighs> Wait, you just didn't... The bowl went to one away. I'm going to go check something in the basement. Right. The Nuggets, you just got by the guest room, it gets really cold, huh? Totally professional, but not bad. We should warm up a little, Dave. Okay. Ow, ow, yeah. Ow. Beer belly. Ah, ah, beer belly. Ah, ah, ah. Boom, nigger. Hi, everybody. Should we say something when we get up there? Yeah, for just greet everybody, and also you have to look kind of humble, you know, just kind of like. Beneath the rising sun. And that was the birthday girl in the house of the rising sun. Good job. that was great. We loved it. Next up, we have a duo, Ebony and Christine. Oh. Come on up to the stage. Oh, We're probably next. Go get them. <laughs> oh, my God. What are they doing? It's our song. Is that allowed? Is this allowed? This is our song. We chose this first. This is our song. Don't listen. Man, Man walk down, down the street. Jesus. Why am I so in the middle now? Why am I so in the middle now? The rest of my life is so hard. I mean, they're not even singing from their diaphragm. Hey, Linda, I just want you to know this was our song. They stole, okay? That's song lifting. You don't do that. Damn it! We have to find another song. Dave, just get something else. Calm down. Calm down. Beer belly, beer belly. Ugly Kid Joe? Do, do we know Ugly Kid Joe? No. Jimi Hendrix? We know all the lyrics. No, but he plays guitar. We can just do the guitar part. Ah! Let's hear it for hey man, that wasn't cool. That was our song. That was our song. We picked it. Thanks. Thank you. Next up, we have another duo, Kath and Dave. I'm not going. We have to go. I'm not going. This is our turn. I don't want to back Kathy down. Come on, explain Dave. something. Are they calling your name? Give us a minute. Okay. I mean, Dave, is there any song? Is there any song we know all the lyrics to? Kath and Dave, come on, we need you up here on the stage. I got it. Okay, it looks like just Dave is making his way to the stage. Now let's hear it. Here's a song you might recognize. Hope you like it. Oh, say can you see by the dawn's early light what so proudly we heard at the twilight's last gleaming. Whose broad stripes and bright stars through the Proud of you. Kath, together, I only want to do this music with you. Dave, you're my 
my number one man. You have a beautiful, beautiful voice. It only makes me love you more. Oh, say does that star-spangled yet wave. Hi, I'm Bryce Shivers. And I'm Lisa Eversman. Do you want your living room to look like this? Yes. Invest in a dead animal. Dead pets. Dead pets. Dead, dead pets. pets. At our store, Dead Pets, we have something for the taxidermy lover of all ages. Hey, Lisa, where's the towels? What? The hand towels. Oh my gosh. I used one of the rabbits. Really sorry about the loss of your bird. You should consider using taxidermy. So the transition from dead animal to dead pet is really all about stuffing. Stuff, stuff, stuff. Seal it up. It's very much like sewing. And I've sewn my finger into the you have? skull. Yeah. I'm so sorry about your finger. Oh, there we go. It's oh. fine. Okay, great. Dead pets. Not sleeping, not fake, just dead. They're dead. Dead pets. <laughs> devastating fire. To my left, the remains of the local taxidermy shop, Dead Pets. Firefighters worked through the night, but they were unable to save the establishment. I had just finished stuffing a beagle that was hit by a car, and now he's just roaming the streets. All of our merchandise is gone. All the animals are missing. Police suspect that arson is the cause of this place, but they don't have any leads yet. So the question now becomes, who done it? Who done the crime? That we don't know, that we would like to know. Now back to you. We have no evidence. We have no leads. What we do know is that the public wants answers now. So, let's round up the weirdos. I'm sure one of them did this for some weird ass reason. To help us learn what a weirdo is, Special Agent Janice Swites. What is a weirdo? Is it somebody that studies really hard and has no friends? That is a dork. A weirdo? has long black stringy hair. We're talking about corn with a backwards K, black eyeliner, black nail polish. Why the black nail polish? Black nail polish is an indicator of antisocial behavior. And why'd you get interested in this? Why you? I grew up with a father as a weirdo. He wore a cat in the hat hat for almost every family photo up until the age of five for me. And though he transitioned out of weirdohood, I felt that I should go forth and kind of Dude, teach people. Are you whispering something? He's been whispering the whole time. I'm sorry, I'm not able to hear that up here. We're trying to listen, so the more you whisper, the more we can hear you. Okay, let's get out there. Let's round up those weirdos. Steve, why don't you show us that composite sketch you drew up there? Weirdos. Okay, ladies, your alarm system is fully installed. Oh, I feel safer already. Thank you. I mean, knowing those weirdos, they probably want to burn books. Well, it's really simple. All you got to do is enter your code, and then you have 60 seconds to get out of the premises. Otherwise, the alarm will go off and you'll hear this. Turn that off! What is that sound? Just enter your code what? to stop it. Otherwise, the police will be notified. Isn't there a way that we can record our own alarm sound? Yeah, can you press record and I'll do... The police have been called. So move and run and get out of here. I'm sure that your economic situation is different than ours, but still. That doesn't give you an excuse. I don't think this has the ability to record. My body, my voice, my alarm, my choice. OK. Look, I was just reading about this online. Weirdos rounded up. Well, they got them, I guess. You know, that's scary. I heard the taxidermy shop wasn't making money, so they burned it down to get insurance money. Their own people did. Yeah. No, but they have a love for what they do. Why would they burn down their own art? I'm they sure. take the taxidermist animals, and they have a satanic voodoo thing going up in the West Hills right now. And they're putting them in cages and posing them and charging admission for people to come see them. How do you know all this? I just know a guy up on the hill. It's Portland. Huh. Weirdos. 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 Times are changing, and you don't know what we're going to do about the next thing, because we're going to be right there with them. And I'm not, you know, looking forward to that. OK, well, I will have a cappuccino. And cancel her cappuccino and give us two Americanos. You got it. Thanks. Weirdos. 
So what were you doing on the night of August 12th? We were making a sculpture at school with old baby dolls. I was at GameStop getting the new remastered Halo. I went to a Nine Inch Nails cover band show in Gresham. And again, what were you doing on the night of August 12th? Anything? What were you doing on the 12th of August? It's not about me. It's about you. August? 12th. By what calendar? The modern calendar. The whole month? I mean, it's a long time. We're just worried about the 12th. What were you doing on the 12th of August? Suspects await trial in the latest twist in the taxidermy fire. Neighbors living in the St. John's neighborhood weighed in. We're shocked. We can't believe that these people would do something like that. Like what? Good morning, Portland. We begin this morning with the latest on the taxidermy fire. What possessed two weirdos to burn down a local taxidermy shop? As the trial approaches, we turn now to a former weirdo so we can look into the mind of the weirdo. Chad, you say you were a weirdo for five years. That's correct. As a weirdo, were you first generation weirdo or did weirdoness run in your family? Most weirdos are first generation. It's a rejection of the normals they come from. Did you find that women were attracted to weirdos? Weirdo women were attracted uh, to weirdos. All right, well, welcome back to the Thank normal you. world. You're very normal. We appreciate you. Oh, thanks. Thank you very much. It was great. I mean, they're guilty, right? Right? We're in agreement. Aside from look at them, I mean, just look at their actions. I mean, that's yeah. a real crime. These are people that are eating very unhealthy food. Yeah, mashed potatoes with sugar. You know, they're listening to scary music and checking out, you know, dark pathways on the internet, and then they're committing crimes. Yeah. You know, these, these weirdos are just, you know, these are, these are mountain people. One thing they're guilty of is having terrible parents. These parents are taxed, and they're working three or four jobs, sometimes at night. And these kids are left to their own devices. They would have a better shot being raised by wolves. Because at least they'd have a sense of family. And what would you do if you are in that situation? If I had parents like that, would I burn down a, a store? You better believe it. I'd burn down the whole block. I'd like to submit some evidence of the case. Uh, this is Britt, our daughter. Beautiful. That is a case for good parenting. And that's someone who's going to be I mean, co contributing to society. She's looking into doing Teach for America in Atlanta next year. Maybe some modeling, too. Just to... or, or modeling on the side. But yeah. we raised her with hopes and with dreams, and we said, the world is your oyster. And she's just grabbing it by the horns. We got lucky, because we have a very good daughter. This is a good person. I'm just glad that we raised Britt right. Ugh. Well, I wonder what Satan's parents were like. <laughs> Mr. Hirschfeld, what do you have to say about the undeniable evidence against your client? No comment. No, 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 no. My sources tell me that you're a former weirdo, sir. Do you care to comment? Uh, no comment. Sir, 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 sir. Okay, we'll start with the opening statement of the prosecution. Look around the room. If central casting provided us with two weirdos, it would be those two. We don't have to prove they're weird. They've done it for us, so obviously they're guilty. Thank you, Your Honor. Okay, short and sweet. Let's hear from the defense. The weirdo has always been an outcast, an outsider, a social pariah, and a scapegoat. Being weird is not a crime. Am I arrested? No. Weirdos are what made this country S-T-R-O-N-G. Weirdos, E-I, E-I, E-I-E-I-O. Come on. Benjamin Franklin was a weirdo. Do normal people fly kites with keys attached? No. Weirdos do. Weirdos were the first people to eat kale, the first people to try marijuana, to write poems, to fall in love. I plan to prove the innocence of these two by proving their guilt. Yes, they are weirdos. But weirdos should be allowed to be weird in peace. The real perpetrator of this crime. Check, check, one, two, 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 two. How's everybody doing today? We want to confess to this crime. The weirdos didn't do it. We did it. It's, it's a confession from someone else, from different weirdos. Is it different weirdos who are confessing? We did it. Two, three, two, eight. Those animals from you Now they 
can rest in peace. We're fighting for the rights of dear heads, and that's our press release. Give us this credit, not the blame. Police don't respect our actions. We're those in start the game. But we are get guilty. We can I'm standing at the corner of Southwest 4th and Salmon where we have mass musicians on the rooftop singing a confession. They are singing, we did it, we did it, referring to the taxidermy fire. They say they it's are vindication for the weirdos. It wasn't the weirdos. It appears this message is political in nature. They don't like taxidermy. They feel it is offensive to the dead animals that they should rest in peace. Down with taxidermy. We did the crime, I'm not doing the time. We did it, we did it. Let the winners be. Okay, let's close up. I'm gonna set the alarm. Okay, I'll just get my bag. Tony, don't move. St mm. Just stay still for a minute, okay? Candace? Yeah? Can I move my head? No, this is a motion sensor. Away and set. Oh. 60 seconds. Great, okay. Where are you going? It's a little allergic. It's gonna bring one of these. Candace, you know I have a box of tissues on my dashboard. Well, I know. I just would like to use this one so I'm not wasting yours. But you're always welcome to borrow a tissue from me. I won't even get out. Candace. There we go. Are you ready? Left is left, right is right. Fold inside, and then it's might. No, left. Fold the fold the tissue. Candace. Left. Hmm. Are you ready? Yes, because we should go because it's beeping. I agree. Okay. Here we go. Okay. You want me to drive? Yes, please. It's fine. Ah! Get back! Who are you? 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 Who are Sorry. To the people in the book store, this is the Portland police. We got you surrounded. No, no. What I'd like you to do is just come on out with your hands up and listen to the officer's instructions. Now that's police. Are you happy? I'm live outside the Women and Women First bookstore on North Killingsworth. Inside, two of the band members who on the rooftop admitted their guilt to the taxidermy fire. We are getting some information about them. The first suspect is Brandon Sanders. He has ties to Portland area eco-terrorist groups. Also inside, the second suspect is a woman, Britt Wilder. Her legal name is Brittany. She chooses, however, to go by Britt. We do not have any suspect vehicle information at this time. We did not have... Uh, <laughs> Suspects are at large. Protest, hello! Hold on, hold on. What? What's that? No, man. Okay. Cops? Why didn't we think this through? Why didn't you think it through? You're like, we'll be fine. It's your idea. It's not my idea. Wait, this is how you are in a crisis? We need a jail. Hi there. Hi. Where are we going today? Uh, we are... Just driving around. We're just driving, you know, checking out nature. Just going through the highway uh, out to the nature. Yeah. Over there to there. <laughs> yeah. To visit nature. Yeah. May I see your license and registration? Sure, okay. yeah. Nice. Everything's up to date. All right. Yeah, they're both a little shaky today. I feel like I had too much coffee. Yeah, it's a pretty long drive. Looks like your uh, registration's expiring soon. Yeah, I, I even I said that to her before when we were leaving the house. I was like, you got to get those tags expiring soon. He did. He did. So, uh, what have you got in the back? Uh, mul like mulch, um, the, the manure, um, from the 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 bur like a chicken manure, and then uh, like a ho like gardening supplies. Chicken manure and gardening supplies and gardening supplies. 
I think I'll have a look if you don't mind. Oh, with the chicken manure and the gardening supplies? Yeah. I could just describe it to you. It's just like a mound, and then there's a hoe, and then there's a small handheld rake that's got mm -hmm. the three prongs. You mean like a pitchfork? It's a hand hoe. A hand hoe. It's a hoe you hold in your hand. It's a hand hoe device. Yeah, it's like you see a hoe, and you're like, I can get my hand on that. <laughs> I'm going to have a look at the chicken No, no, no. I, I don't think you need to. No, go ahead. What? Uh, I, I'm, I'm fine with it. Go ahead. Uh. Calling all units. We have a hostage situation at the bookstore. 3602 copy. I gotta go. You guys uh, take care. Thanks. Oh, jeez. Go, go, go. Jesus. <gasps> oh, my God. <laughs> Again, from the people in the bookstore, when this is all over, you're gonna get a choice. Public defender, which you know, or you may want to get one of those fancy lawyers and you may get off pretty easy, but we don't even get to that part yet until you come out with your hands up. We're family, unarmed, we're family. Un no threats whatsoever, with us. That's, that's our daughter. That's your daughter, you said? Yes. She's a good kid, put your guns down. She's different than everybody else. She, she wanted to do what, Teach for America, right? Teach for America, that's a good organization. Well, she's thinking about it. She thought she, about oh. it. Look, let's call it a day, we're all done. Thanks, everyone. Thanks, everyone, well, so much. Engines on, guns down, let's Thank get out of here. Thank you for your service. Sir, we appreciate your service. Mm -hmm. You Thank are you. part of the community. You work so hard, tireless hours. We'll handle it from here. We will yell at her. I mean, I will turn to her and go like, hey, this house is not a playground. You want to play with your toys and leave them around? No, -uh, not in this house. I mean, I yell. Here's the deal. She's a kid. She's going through a bunch of stuff. We've all gone through it. She's made her point. Let her go. Just let her do it. That. And I, you know, I can't do that. I mean, do we even know that she did it? Yeah, we're pretty sure. I. You know what? We know. We don't know. I did it. Well, there you go. Cover your eyes, everybody. Here, can, can I borrow this, please? Don't break it. Hi, honey. It's Dad. Hi, Hannah, I'm on too. It's mom. Your mom did the funniest thing. We all, we all, she was, uh, I'm looking for CNN. I'm looking for CNN. Well, watching the damn channel. <laughs> to be fair, I was not wearing my glasses. Uh, <laughs> Come on out, honey. We're, we love you. We're not mad. And uh, I guess we have some talking to do. Hon, you know, maybe just get a plea deal where you rat out your friend. There is no shame in, in, in ratting out others. That's good. In the history of crime, people have always respected people who ratted others out. So come on out. We're right here. Whatever you need. That's a girl. That's a girl. Get your hands in the air. Get them up. Go get them. Go get them. Go, 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 go. go. Uh, no. Uh, no, wrong guy. Wrong. That's not who we wanted to come out. We don't care about him. No. Not who we wanted to come out. Honey. Finally, see how we can get a nice proper burial. Young marmot, little punk of nature, we salute you. Rest easy, make all the noise you want, steal all the food you want. May you join your little friends, the three little chicks, the ram, the moose. Never again will you be behind a counter, your head sitting over an espresso machine while somebody reads a Nicholas Sparks book. I truly hope you'll never have to see any wiring <clears throat> or stuffing again and have people staring at you and pointing at you as if you had no soul. <clears throat> Get out of here and run around. Be free. Be free. Amen. Amen. Okay, so you guys need you to go take the back. There's a back entrance over on 33rd. If you have a clear shot, take her out. We did this. This is our fault. No, sir, ma'am, you're in a dangerous area right now. I'm going to need you to move. We take full responsibility for our child's actions. This is all us. We gave her too much freedom. We exposed her to too much too early. We let her choose her own clothes when she was two years old. It's, just, it's not right. You know, and we said, hey, we're these 60s radicals. You know, we're against the Vietnam War. We're protesters, you know, like, right from Berkeley, but that's not true. We were Joe Cocker fans. We just liked blues, really. White, white blues. Hendrix was actually, I, it was way, way too loud. I listened to half a song and it's, I was like, what is this? Please turn it down. It's all our fault. We got away from the simple parenting. We overcoddled, we overloved, 
We suffocated. And now she's getting into trouble, and that's her fault. Yeah, of course this happened. Of course we're all here. Of course you guys have your guns drawn. You know what? Go ahead. Lock us up. Arrest us. Take us. It's our fault. All right. Let's go arrest him. The parents of Britt Wilder, Chris and Malcolm, are now on trial for arson, overparenting, and overindulging. It turns out it was not the weirdos. It was the idiots. With us now is Chad, a former idiot. Take us into the mind of an idiot. What is that like? Well, you listen to a lot of trance music. Sure. And make a lot of comments on the internet, uh, usually with improper grammar and spelling. Did you feel your IQ shrink during that time period? I think it was always small. Well, you certainly seem like you have it all together now. You seem perfectly normal to me. Well, some people would say I'm a douchebag. Hi. Oh my God, Britt. Britt. Are you okay? I'm all right. How are the animals? They're in a better place. Oh God. What happened to you? Tell me. My parents, they showed up and it, it's fine. Your parents, what happened? It's just, it's embarrassing. Don't worry about it, it's fine. It's a pretty park. I've never seen this side of the city before. 